Where's the steam, Sam? Where's the steam for Steamy Saturdays? Welcome back, everyone. Is there steam? Uh, steam? There's, there's, a bit, there's a bit coming. Welcome <laughs> back, everyone. Oh, thank you. I was making the steamy noise at the start. Um, last week, me and Tom uh, got snowed in. We did like an hour and a half. We played a couple of games on Steam. So we did manage to do the top one, though. Oh, yes. Yeah, shit. And then we, the stream got like blocked. And I think it was due to, we thought it was due to the snow, but I reckon it wasn't due to like snow resting heavily on instep paper. <laughs> so I reckon it was snow not allowing the engineers to get to their thing to press the daily reset daily the, the cash button or whatever. Keep, do you know what keeps, I mean? Keep the memory on. probably overfilled or whatever. I don't give a crap. But we, we had to stop and the, it was all, the internet was all out. All day, in fact, all Saturday, and then all day on Sunday until just before High Rollers started on. So someone, obviously, was thinking uh, at the internet, Spectrum Internet was like, oh, hang on a second, your house has no internet. Maybe I ought to fix that before I, my favorite stream, High Rollers, gets going on a Sunday. Um, not that there is favoritism in any way. <laughs> um, no, I'm only joking. So um, we're back. We, uh, we, me and Tom are going to play some top Rated games on Steam Spike yeah. currently. Yeah, we should have Steam Spike. Number open. one is Warhammer Vermintide 2. Now, you played this yesterday, Tom. Oh my god. And I, I can see in the background, you've actually loaded up the game here, and I'm, I'm loaded on. I think I'm playing a shin, weirdly. So you played it yesterday for Vermintide 2. Yeah. What is Vermintide 2? So it's Warhammer Left 4 Dead. Okay, cool. And it, and so in the simplest way, if you've heard of Left 4 Dead and you've heard of Warhammer. I like Warhammer, bam. and I like Left 4 Dead. Is it good? It's all right. I don't love it. I feel like I should like it more because Left 4 Dead is one of my favorite games of all time. It's one of my most played games on Steam. And is it, is it Skaven instead of zombies? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Although right. there's Nurgle guys in it as well cool. who do also kind of bring zombies. Right, they are kind of zombies, um, aren't they? You get to play as a witch hunter. I love Warhammer are witch hunters. Are you a hunters. witch hunter right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can have a look in. Uh, am I a fucking bright wizard? You're a bright wizard. Oh my god, oh. I love bright wizards. So you need to press accept. That's like one of my favorite things in the original Warhammer. So this is like themed before Sigma. It's like uh, back before the world got destroyed completely. Yeah, it's before um, old wanky Age of Sigma. In the Ugh. grim dark world of um, Warhammer regular, regular seventh or whatever, so it's eighth, sixth, fifth, fourth, third. Uh, fourth, yeah, yeah, third, it's like ninth. seventh, seventh, third, eighth, third. What? No, you so have eighth edition. Are we queuing up now? Do we get? Thrown with two randos. No, no, it's just going to be us. Um, so isn't that going to make it quite a lot harder? It, no, I think I hope it scales. Are the AI's going to help us out? What are we looking at here? Equipment. Um, so I play on Shin's account. Yeah. Have we got anything? Feeble mace. That seems terrible, Tom. Well, well don't witch hunt, don't, don't bright wizards have a sword? I fucking want to have a sword. Uh, if you um, select weapons oh. at the bottom, then yes, you can change. Yes, a sword. Yes. Although the mace does look like it does more damage. And high damage, damage over time, wide sweeps. Ooh. Or a, a sword. I get dodged with a sword, I guess. I'm, play, I'm thinking about yeah. Warhammer. But, or parry. Bink! Um, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to the, to the loadout that, that Shin left it His on. build. Um, and get him some, I'm going to get him some points today. Yeah, you're going to level I think them up. If we could just do like a game. Just, just This is so, on well, Steamy Saturdays, we always play the number one on Steam Spy. In this case today, Warhammer Vermintide 2. So... We have to play it. We have to give it a go. I have to give you my thoughts on it. Then Tom has to do a little MS Paint. Yeah. And then um, you get to you get to help us come up with a one sentence review um, on on what we on what, what we think. So are we waiting for games that? How does uh, this work? So we uh, we'll need to go into this blue bubble. Right. Um, uh, Sam, can I hear myself a little bit less, please? Are you hearing yourself too I'm much? I'm hearing myself quite. I like to hear my own voice. Really? No. Oh, that's better. <laughs> oh, although it feels it feels like I'm now like underwater. <laughs> From having it like so loud in my Bring ears to then disappearing. So, the bills in question is this any good? Of I'm on, I'm on, like on the fence back. still. I think and maybe if I played it more, I'd probably get more into you, it. So, how long did you play it for last night? We did three yeah. hours. You but, did the whole stream, okay? But, um, Twitch. How far did you get? Twitch Alicia fucked us yesterday. Oh, oh, I think we've got some AI friends. What do you mean, Twitch fucked you? The chat. No, they were they were definitely helping. Um, so you can set it so. Uh, which can vote on stuff. Good lord. Oh, good lord. What uh, am I looking at here? I have a mace. I can swing it. Okay. I can block, I still? assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So blocking, very important. It took us a long time to realize you got to block. I can throw bullets. Uh, and I can... What is that I have there? An increasingly large fireball in the ground. So be careful, because you can explode yourself. Okay. 
Sorry, I'm just not keeping up, am I? Um, have you got a big... Who's I've, carrying a big gas I've got can? A, I've got a barrel. Um, you can throw it and it uh, burns people. Are you guys killing stuff? Okay, yes, killing so, stuff. So there's the bots there. Oh, They're God. doing some killing. There's a crow there. I can hear oh. yelling. Ow. Do I do that? Okay. That, looks, that feels good. Are you oh, okay, Uh Yeah, there's like some kind of crazy berserker boys. Uh-oh, the barrel's on fire. That doesn't look good. Do we need the barrel? Oh, there's, there's boys down there. Look. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to aggro them. Oh. A barrel full of, like, flaming stuff. You would have thought catching okay, fire so would be bad. that generates quite a lot of heat. Yeah, so too much and heat I is clear bad. clear it off. With, oh, right. Okay, cool. I'm doing it. Is that you there? You're fighting stuff on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll keep up. I'm a bit scared of these zombies getting back up again. Uh, and I'm quite liking this so far. It feels like I'm doing the tutorial a little bit. A big a sort of... Uh, Whoa, there's a troll! A troll? It's spitting stuff at us. Wait, is that a legit troll? Oh, it's, it's, like a, oh, it's a chaos fire. troll. Yeah, okay, we set him on fire. Oh, man, okay, he's he's super going down. Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, he vomited on me. What an asshole. So that's like a classic old-school Warhammer troll thing to do. Is like vomit on. Is he set him on fire? He can't regen, right? Oh. Oh, jeez. I think I almost overloaded myself a bit there. So I feel like your fire ability is. That has degraded all of my armor, and then he punched me. Oh, shh. Oh, my God. Uh oh. Uh, there's a horde coming. What does that mean? You can hear the horns. Um, you'll you'll see when they arrive. Holy crap! He's really he's really punching me here. Uh, try and try and block. Try and dodge. Oh, there's a big horde coming. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, nice. That was a good bit of fire. Uh, so you set them all on fire. In your sort of like third, third slot. Yeah. You what should have a. I just ate it. Um, like a healing potion. Oh, there's quite a lot shit. of zombies. There's so many fucking boys here. Uh oh, someone's down. Oh, it's the elf. Fucking elves, man. Uh -oh. oh my god, the troll oh, is oh, still alive. Shit, I'm down. Uh, Will someone you'll... please kill this fucking troll? Yeah, he's pretty, pretty fucking tough. Oh shit, he's just wailing on me while I'm down. What a jerk. Hole. How do I get him off you? Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's how. Oh, I see. He's got a lot of life. Yeah, yeah. There's that bar at the top. Oh. Whoa, Jesus Christ. I think the elf's going to help me. Ugh. The filthy elf. Filthy, disgusting elves, man. Does he regen? Is that. Yeah, thing? yeah. Yeah, when he, like, bends over, he's, like, regening. Like now. Oh, I see. And we can just. We need to wail on him then, I guess. Yeah, so oh I think we God. do reduce his, like, max life. Bile troll. Oh my God, I'm nearly dead. Oh, oh, he tried to fucking grab me. We need to. Shit! Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, he died. Holy crap! I'm very, very low on life. So, do I heal up over time? Uh, no. 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 no we'll we'll find some meds. If I get revived, do I? If you go down, how much do you come back on? You come back on like a sort of temporary like half life, and then that slowly degrades. Uh oh, we've got some boys coming. Really? Not already. I'm very. I've got like a sl the sliveriest sliver of life. That's okay. Like these chumps, they're not. They're not super tough. I'm sort oh. of scared to to like the like stuff coming at me from the sides and behind, because I can't really tell. And sometimes I seem to take damage from the left or right, and I think it's because I've just stood in a bit of fire. Yeah, there's there's always. I think, don't want to stand in these. Oh, there's I a mean, I'm a fire wizard, here. but I'm very very flammable. I love the thing that I liked about Bright Wizards is they always seem to manage to have like a big fucking bushy white beard. Yeah, they've always got like some something going on. Oh, nice. Oh, is that my name? Sienna fucking Fabulous. Fabulous. Sienna Fabulous. You got fabulous. another fucking. Yeah, I like, I like these barrels. There was a little rat there. I think I spotted it. Oh, he's a fucking snitch. Uh, so we, we need to kill all the guys here. Oh. All right. Um. Uh, so there are like special bad guys that come along, uh, a lot like the special. I, I mean, like the like the troll. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, 
Okay, is that everyone cleaned out? There's some med uh, health health bottles hanging around. Are there? Yeah, you see those like green? Oh yeah, these ones. Like, over here. I'll just grab one. Okay. Uh, I assume the AI will automatically just drink. The yeah, I think to I death. think they should be okay. Wait, do we need to give give him one? I'll give him one. Carillion looks like he's in a bad way. The elf. Ugh. Spit. Ugh. Elves. Uh, so we need to do this this guy. Um, we have to port Cullis. And that means a whole Stuff's load of bad guys there, right? are going to come. No, no, uh, we need to get through there. So. Oh, survive until the, that gate opens. So should I go up to this gate? Yeah, just I think... like camp up here and fireball stuff. Okay, wow. Well, here they come. Got well, this stuff coming up both sides. Yeah, they can also climb up the front bit as well, but they're quite easy to chop. There's a big one here on that side. A big guy. Yeah, he's teleported somewhere. Oh yeah, uh, so those are the wizards, and the, from experience, they were just absolute assholes. Oh, there's a lot of rats here. Yeah, so there's the Skaven are working with the Nurgle boys. I'm running. Oh god, there's a lot of them here, Tom. Yeah, there. Uh oh, uh oh, shit, the wizard, the wizard. Um. Rats everywhere! Rats! I want to be able to fireball, but there's so many. Yeah, there's absolute hordes. Oh, it's, um. Plague monks. Okay. Oh, more's coming. What's this? Thing? Oh, that guy. Oh, okay, so he's the wizard. Um, he cast a big magic swirly spell. Okay, I need to be careful not to fucking overheat myself. Um, man, you're doing... Oh, shit. Where's the That's wizard? There idea. he is. I'm in the swirls. Help. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. There's a lot of slaves. There's a lot of rats here. Oh, I'm in another swirly thing. Holy crap. Just drink something. Oh, shit. <laughs> Man, just getting, like, surrounded is really fucking bad. Maybe I should just be flaming them a bit more than I am. Oh. I want to sort of be helping you guys Have we out, done it? But... Oh, jeez. Right, the lifting platform. Where is that? It's through the um the portcullis. Okay. Tom, I'm just getting my ass handed to me there. I had to drink a potion. Oh, me too. Like, uh, oh, you don't need ammo, do you? Um, everyone else uses ammo. Okay. <laughs> uh, you 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 make your own ammo. <laughs> I summon it from the void. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The fiery dimension of fire. I just open a little portal to fire dimension. Ooh. Suck some fire through. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Like, there's kind of like a logic there. Yeah. It's just a dimension full of fire, and I just, you know, open a little hole up and loads of fire comes through. It's fucking awesome. Oh. The Empire, someone's... Oh, uh, yeah, if you press F, you do your special. Oh! Um, but it's probably best to save that for a combat combat situation. Okay, I didn't realise I had a special. What does the special do? I don't, I don't entirely know what your special does. Okay. I feel like it's already charged, though. Oh. Oh, God. Where, where is this guy? Man, there's so much fire. I know, I'm just throwing fire down because I feel like so that's what I can Oh do shit! Like. Oh, I've been um, caught by a guy. Uh, 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 Where are you? Oh, nice. He's dead. Yeah, so you get like the sort of Left 4 Dead style. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm definitely feeling that vibe. Guys that. Um, I think I can't really stand on the bodies of people that I've set on fire. No? Up these steps. There you go. Time to stock up. Oh my god, I'm getting I'm getting left behind. I'm alright, I'm alright. You okay? Hey, yeah, I'm good. I'm wondering what my ultimate does. My ultimate ability. Uh, oh god. If you forest. see any green potions, let me know. I could probably need one fairly soon. Green potions. Oh, well, I think I saw, caught a glimpse of. Yeah, yeah, there's one up ahead. A perfect, I require. 
One of your finest like green oh. potions. There's a bomb. Okay. This is this is going much more smoothly with you than it was with was uh, it? those guys. I think it might just be the AI. Oh fuck! Walk fire throw. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. There's oh, and he exploded. I see. I think clearing my heat, my heat or by myself it hurts me. Oh. If I hold down R to clear my heat, it actually hurts me a little oh, bit. Oh shit! Okay. So I guess I shouldn't really be trying to do that if I can avoid it. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Okay. Right. Oh, we're outside. Thank God. Oh crap! This Batman coming. So we always. This is like the furthest we ever got, and we always wiped up here. <laughs> like if we ever made it this far. Oh no, I think I'm gonna bump! Shit. Oh shit, that's okay. Okay. So it turns out that actually shooting my regular pistol blows me up as well. Just firing fireballs blows me up. I didn't realize that throwing fireballs blew me up too. You're gaining heat. Uh, man, it's dangerous life being a wizard. I know, like. Oh shit. What's very that? Very risky. You don't even realize you're doing it. Oh, there's a, a, a wizard somewhere. He's. Oh no! We're, we're all caught in his wizardy, his wizarding. Ow. Oh god! I nearly got blown off the edge. Oh shit! Where is he? He's here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did he die or did he teleport? I think he's dead. I think I saw him go into flames. Okay, so this is quite a powerful attack, actually. Yeah, having like a perma. I haven't really been using my my ranged attack. Very oh, much. there's med kits here. Do you need a med kit? Oh, always. I'm a bright wizard. I think I. Need Don't expect this to be oh. Okay. Medical supplies. What's this? Is this even like better than? I think it heals more. What did this guy? Fuck. Whose arm is that? Doesn't look like his. It's like an extra arm. Did that rat man have a human arm? Maybe. Oh, man, I guess the witch hunter doesn't okay. doesn't care. Oh. Continue along the wall. Continue along the fucking wall. This is quite fun. This is quite a bomb, you say. There's a bomb. Uh, oh. Unless you want burning to ash. It looks like it might be this door. Yeah. Okay. Vermin uh -oh. and Northlanders have much in common. They're all deluded and they all stink. Oh, behind us. Fuck. There's a warp fire threat. <laughs> Shit. Oh, there's a few over there. Okay, we've got to do something with that cannon. I don't like the. I don't like the open. I saw a couple walking around this side. Yeah, there's a few dudes just like always hanging around. Well, I suppose you have to hit sometimes. Okay, All right. I'm up on the battlements. <laughs> okay. And I still haven't used my my F. Press F to pay to, to use your ultimate ability. Okay. What the fuck is this thing? Right. It's a crane. Right. Of course it is. I think we use it to blow a hole in the wall. This guy's oh. got a blunderbuss. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. I think there's a fucking assassin coming. What's that? Like a skaven. Oh, bam. Is he one of the ones that drags you off? No, he, well, he's the, he's just the left for dead hunter. Like, he jumps on you and, like... This guy. Yeah. Is he dead? Yep. <laughs> wow, that was very straightforward. <laughs> okay. I suppose it's more difficult to get him when you, when there's like a million um, like rat men trying to kill you. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That feels like a bad noise. Okay. Can I get through? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh shit, there's boys here. Lots of boys. Tough sometimes to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh oh, there's like big, big axe boys. Watch out for them. Because they hurt real bad. Oh shit, the bed, that's a lot of friends. My fire doesn't really seem to like actually do a huge amount of damage to me. It just does knock them down though. That AoE. It's like I thought it was killing them, but actually it's just knocking them down, and that, as a result, messed me up a bit when I. Oh, because they what was standing, standing up. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm slowly getting more capable at this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, man, this, this like, uh oh, there's um a, a pack master. Shit. Oh, nice, nice. <gasps> Shit, I'm gonna blow up. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> it's so random that I. I... <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. The... I love blowing up, but. There's oh, another fucking no, troll. Oh, one of these. Fuck this guy. Man, although the fire seems good against him. Apart from when he spits on you and you. Get, get like absolutely wrecked. Oh, ow, fuck. Punched my face. Oh. Oh, oh God. I'm down. Oh, no. I think I'm going to go not. down as well, actually. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm fucking. So if you go down once, it's easier to go down again, I guess. Yeah, so I think it lowers your max life. I think you start, you just have this ticking clock of when you could when you get back oh, up a second Wait time. on him now. Oh, so it seems like that lowers his max life. Ow, shit. Oh, I'm so blind and in pain. Oh, fucking, there's a wizard here as well. Shit, the bed. Fucking trolls, man. Oh, my God. Bad news. You just, it, 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 standing in the bile gets rid of all of your defense. Ooh. Uh, so people normally have a, like a weak weak point. I'm not yeah. sure what his is. I feel like it should be the back. His butt, his butthole. His bee hole. His beauty hole. Ugh. I'm standing in the pile here. Man. Oh shit! Oh. Oh my god! It took so many fucking hits then. God, um, standing in his bile is. Oh, oh damn. fuck! Everyone's fucking getting injured. Okay, so he's... The, fortunately, the AI is pretty good at getting oh. us up. Uh. Okay, watch out. Explosive barrel. Shit. I'm going to blow up my friend. Oh, fuck me! Do you get vomited on? Yeah, I'm down again. These, these, are, like the, these are like the tanks, except they really kind of... It was, uh, what are they called? Tanks? Yeah, in left yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I just, it doesn't sound like they should be called tanks. Uh, fucking oh, die. Oh, he's fucking dead. Jeez, man. F fucking trolls. I still haven't used my F. I probably should use my F. Oh, yeah, yeah. What does my F do? No one knows. No, no one knows. I, I, don't, I don't know. Someone probably knows. Am I the tank? No, I'm the opposite of the tank. I am oh. the, the, the far opposite of being a tank. This. That is ammunition, I think. I'm uh, looking for a, a, a green one. So yeah, my life gradually goes down since I've been revived, you see. Okay. Until I drink a potion. Magic will not solve all your problems. Oh, that looks like it's good over health in it. I find fire an excellent equalizer. Ashes seldom quibble. Nope. Ugh. All right. That's my blood. What the hell? Press on. Oh, it just sounded. I heard someone roaring and. It spooked me. I got spooked. 
Who's that? Oh! That guy was fucking flaring with his sword. That was amazing. So, th like, this makes me really hot to play, like, um, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay again. <sighs> yeah, man. Like, I'd love to be a bright wizard in a fantasy roleplay with a big beard oh, named, like, Flurious Sephiroth. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's he, what they called, right? He sounds like a cool guy. My health is at zero. Uh, which is always a, always oh, a perfect no. situation. Oh, oh God. The oh. barrel. You oh. caught it before it rolled It almost off. fell off the cliff. Oh no! I've fucking done it again! <laughs> Wait. I'm oh. actually perma dead now, I think. Uh, so we can res you from a. A cupboard, a tomb. Yeah, a grave, we find a you crypt. in a cupboard. Oh shit. Man, I, I feel like this is very easy to do. I need like a much bigger warning on my screen when I'm overloading myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. That seems. It feels like it's so easy. Like it's just a couple of shots and you've done it. Uh oh. A hook rat. Oh, you're up ahead. Oh shit! I'm getting stabbed, oh. friends. Is that a, that's a that's a flipping hunter? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! It really is. It really is. Oh, look at there's the health. There's all the health. I died like right before all the health. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Oh, fuck me. It's difficult. I mean, I only needed like one hit to die anyway, but I overloaded myself. Oh shit! So if I'd man. been hit once or taken one like bit of flame damage, I would have died. Oh, oh, it's a fucking chaos warrior. Oh, he looks, he looks scary. Oh man, I quite like watching the third person, like seeing you guys do all the fighting. It's quite cool. Oh, they're fucking coming. Um. Oh shit. Here they come. Reload. Oh, you're clearing them out here. This is terrific. You're up ahead. There's some down that, um, some down there. There's lots of them coming from those stairs. Fuck. Someone behind us. Shit. No, you're good. Hey. In you go. Oh, there you are. Is that, is that you me? You weren't dead. You were just tied up in here. They caught me. They took me hostage. I'm just, uh, oh, this. He's a big fucking dude with a hammer. That's fucking Sigma. Oh shit. Okay, so we super defend this place. Is it Sigma? No way. That must be. Who else would they have a giant statue of? He's got a hammer. He's got uh, a big orc head. Yeah, that's Sigma. I'd bet money on it. It's almost certainly Sigma. I'm going to um, go with Dave. Dave. Or Sigma. AKA. It's Sigma's brother, Dave. Dave oh AKA shit. Sigma. Okay. So I guess. Oh, this sounds bad. Are there any like med kits anywhere? It doesn't look like it. I think that was what you got before you came in. Should we go up to like? Should we go up the stairs? I feel like high ground is always better. I would. Um, if I know anything about Star Wars. Why did we ring the bell? That seems like madness. I'm not sure. Are we trying to like lure them here for some reason? Survive. Oh. No. Oh shit! <laughs> They're fucking everywhere. Oh, storm vermin. Oh god, it's a bit dark by right here. Oh, oh fuck! There's wind. Where is that guy? I killed the wolf by guy. Oh nice. Oh, good fucking job, man. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, we're getting strangled. We're being dragged. Fucking hook rat. Oh. Okay, this is all f fairly straightforward. Yeah, it wasn't very light up on that balcony though. Yeah. I didn't really like it up there. Yeah, I think maybe maybe that was a bad call. Oh, oh, it's a rattling gun. Okay. Okay. I expect we're going to get something big and fucking scary turning up soon. Yes. I use Ground is shaking. Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, holy shit. It's a bit intense. Uh, poison rat. Ow. Oh. Oh, God. I'm having my soul sucked out by the wizard. You guys are right. What the hell's that? Did something fall from the ceiling. I think there's a ghost behind us. Okay, no, I think the wizard's dead now. Someone, someone mangled him. Uh. All right, Martin. What's going on? Oh, oh shit! The fucking statue is its hammers glowing. That is definitely a good sign. That's what we want, right? I, I assume so. We, we need that hammer to. It's gonna bring it down. There's gonna be a massive rat comes in. Sigma's gonna fucking rise up and be like, "Bam! Eat this! Eat this! Take this, rat! You little rat bitch!" Oh, oh, there's a lot of good rats here. They really came and beat me around the fucking, beat me around the face. They did. Oh, there's more rats God, coming so, down. So many of them, dudes. Just chill. Oh, oh fuck! It's a rattling gun. Ow. Oh. God damn it! Fucking rattling gun. Oh, I'm going down. Oh. Fuck. oh. Oh! Oh, did that... Oh, I think the hammer fucking burst. And, and killed, killed everyone. Everything. Oh, and now a uh, little staircase is opened. Escape through the Bridge of Shadows. I think, I assume it's down here. Oh, down here. Oh my god, the music's picked up. Oh. It's quite a long map, isn't it, for like a level? It feels like in Left 4 Dead you'd have like save points. Yeah, like loads mean? of checkpoints. Feels like we would have gone through on. a couple of them by now as well. It just sort of carries on. Oh, this looks very dangerous, Tom. I guess. Oh. Fuck it, I'm getting into the Bridge of Shadows. This is like a. Get down here, Tom. Ah, oh, we made it. Fucking did it! Holy shit! We spent the whole of yesterday. Not being able to do any... Where was the, like, fucking big end boss rat thing? We thought, like, the hard bosses were randomly just thrown at us. What a weird fucking balance. Not that... I just feel like... I feel like I should have killed an end boss there. I feel like it just ended, like... Yeah. Like, well, that last swarm was, like, nothing. I was, like, saving all my stuff. I had, like, a fucking explosive thing ready to go. I had, like, my special ready. I was, like... Yeah, yeah. normally you're used to getting, like, a... Having, like, a tank or something um, appear, but... Oh. What a strange game. Hmm. Did you get a common as strong boss? I got a peasant's one. <laughs> I think you got a better one than I did. What was in it? Uh, so if you return to the keep, you can um, you can open it up. Oh, I want to see. So what? You have to open it up in. Yeah. In so it game. should be on there's like a little platform. Okay. I'll watch. I'll watch your screen. Okay. So. Oh, you've got your fucking. You've got your fucking strong box here. Let's see what's in there. So I've got. Ooh. Patchwork pistols. pistols. Oh, they sound pretty cool. Another chest. The fetish of more. Oh man, plus um 17% health. That sounds good. That seems like quite a lot. Oh, this one's plus some stamina. Okay, that's all pretty good. So what do you have? What what's in I your got, box? I got a peasant's one. So if we see Lewis's perspective. I think Sam's gone AFK. Um, but don't worry about that, Tom. I think I think that was enough. I think that uh, that's enough for me, right? Vermin tied too. I think I've, I think I've, I think I've experienced it, and I think it was okay. It felt like, um, it felt like an enjoyable, like kind of little romp through the Warhammer world. Yeah, I like the setting. I think the engine's quite nice. I like the fact that you could do it with your friends. I must admit, I found found myself getting a little bit bored. It's, it, I find it just gets a bit samey too quickly. Well, I feel like at least with Left 4 Dead, like, you were in this town, right? And so there were always, like, weird things going on. Like, even in the hospital one, you were going through hospital beds and stuff like that. And in the airport one, you're, like, going through the airport, and you're going through security, and you're going to yeah. get on the plane. Also, I found with Left 4 Dead, there's something that feels so much more, like, tactical about shooting compared to, like, when you're just, like, wailing on people in combat. There's only so many fucking just... grimy, wet castles with torches and fucking that you can go through so there's um one of the other levels that we did uh like we don't need to do the it now, desert but 
it it was like open like sort of like farmland and that was genuinely quite cool it was okay. like very pretty it was like super sunny big rolling fields of corn um it looked really nice okay cool. uh, this feels like a game that i played 20 years ago you know and it hasn't changed you know i mean like, it feels like so running through this castle that that level was like the definition of generic it really was wasn't it it was like there was no character there do you, do you do you agree? Like I don't know. Like I think it's very pretty. I mean, the Sigma statue was okay at oh. the end. That was nice. What the fuck is this? I mean, okay. then again, like think about what you can do with these games. You know, you could like fucking like Moria. You know, you could do all sorts of crazy shit. You know, you could have like a fucking staircase over the abyss and all sorts of cool stuff. I don't know. Our, our, this this hall's not too bad. It's quite. It's, it's nice that I like this kind of really staging area sword. we've got. I really like this where you can group up your four guys. You can. Test your weapons. You can equip your stuff. You can open your chest. I like that. That it's not all done in menus. Yeah. You know, I like the staging area. I think that's a really nice addition to the game. Because the the first one you had like a tavern that you were in, and then this one you've got a whole keep that's sort of ruined and knackered, and you can jump around on it. And yeah, yeah, and like I like that stuff. you can select your weapons and change what gear you have. There's some other creepy characters like this, this old woman. Twelve other levels, and they all vary. Says Saniel. Well, I bloody hope so for a fucking forty-pound game. Um, this is like some TB level reviewing log. <laughs> play generic castle level. Play complaints of generic castle. Sorry, I didn't realise. I guess it was the first one. I feel like I feel like the first one that the game gives you should be something which is, I don't know, make you want to buy the game. You know. These days, we're in the world of, of Steam refunds, right? So, you know, I've played this for less than an hour. I could have Steam refunded this if I wanted to. And I think I, the, if, I, if I paid 40 quid for this, I think I probably would Steam refund it. Just yeah. saying. Like, I mean, I, it's, it's fine. I think, do you know what I quite like? I like the visceral chomping of it. I like the, the skills. I like playing the Bright Wizard. I like the setting. But I don't know if I'd actually want to play this on a regular basis. Shrug. Yeah, I feel well, like I should. Not 40 pounds. I should love it's this game. Nine, nine, nine. Okay, but all right, right chat. But I, but I don't. Um, um, no, I, I kind of agree with you, though, man. Um, let's have a look. Hang on, is it? I thought it was like forty quid. It's not. It's twenty-three quid. Wow. Twenty-three. Okay. Actually, that's actually changed changed my mind a little bit. All right. You're all right, chat. If I, I consider myself told. <laughs> I just did, I'm just, uh, for some reason, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would. Do you know what I mean? I didn't, I'm not left with this like sense of, wow, that was so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I feel like it wouldn't have been that difficult to give me that either. Yeah. I um, mean, that's yeah. just it. It's, it's, you know, doesn't do anything too badly wrong. I think fighting against boomers who spit on you, spit green bar on you, and hunters that jump on you. Like, what fucking year is this? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Um, you know, anyway. I'm a huge, a huge, and I'm not, it's not like I'm not a huge fan of Warhammer. I'm a fucking massive fan of Warhammer. In fact, I've been reading one of the, I bought one, I bought the fucking Chaos, Warhammer 40k Chaos Codex, and I was reading it up. So I was thinking of building some Chaos stuff. Really? Yeah. So I'm a huge Warhammer fan, and you know, this is not really exciting. Oh my god, um, a chaos army! I thought you were going to do orcs last week, and then you're going to do Eldar. I know, I keep this, messing around. <laughs> this I is keep uh, around. this is spin the wheel of Lewis, and uh, well, which army does I, it land on? I'm ju I just I'm educating myself about all of it really, and then I'll find out what I like. I just think like because I I've in, I've enjoyed playing Necrons and stuff, but I think that it's time to like. Although the maybe um, I'll stick with someone. The Necron stuff. Codex is out soon. That's true. Maybe I'll stick with the Necron stuff. But there's no new models and stuff announced, so. But then again, some of the models that are pretty shit right now I might get improved in the codex, and then I might think, oh, actually, I kind of want to get a fucking fighter jet, whatever. A little little space plane. All right, let's um, get an MS Paint going. Okay. Um, Tom, and then we'll move on to the next game, which I can see on... I can see a bunch of games that I know, and I've played before on the top of Steam Spy. It looks like a lot of games have been released this week. Um, uh, so... Yeah, which... Um, so look, because Northgard, you know, already half a million people own it. Holy shit. But it's officially released this week. Pit People, already three quarters of a million, two, sorry, a quarter of a million people own it. It's been released this, this week. So these wire, these are up here. Um, but we can, we can have a look at these. 
Oh I, my god, Super Seducer I think is actually the, on there I now. think we should do Super Seducer. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some like meme YouTube clips about this game. Yeah, I think I think And it, I think it's it's pretty hard to stomach. Is the impression I've gotten from it. But, you know, if you want to learn how to um well, I mean the classic is how to neg, isn't it? Is that is that in the game? Probably, oh. I assume so. It's probably just not how to it's probably like how to be a creep. You know what I mean? Like yeah. doing these creepy things. Like I think yeah, I've seen a bit of things better. If you haven't seen it by now, then oh my god. Prepare to prepare to cringe. Uh, oh, Sorry, I'm just I'm just getting mad here. Uh, yeah, I think while it's on there, we we should be doing it. It it makes sense. Check my Twitter, mate. Check my Twitter. What? Someone's someone's telling me some blue sunrise in chat is telling me to check my Twitter mentions. Someone someone hit me up about it apparently. About Super Seducer. Surely not. Oh. Uh, Steam games are selling a game that teaches you how to grope women. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just in time for Women's Day. Oh. This game teaches men it's okay to grope women. Help me get it off Steam. That's, well, we definitely have to get it while it's still on Steam. It's like... It's like um, it's like uh, Overwatch skins that are time limited or whatever. You know, you have to like buy them up before they they get taken off the market. Yeah. You know, if we want to get our copy of Super Seducer before it gets taken off Steam, <laughs> I can't believe it's on Steam. I th I don't know how people were playing it before. Um, did it did it get sold separately? Oh God, Super Seducer. Oh God, it's it's. Tips from from the master himself. Yeah, the guy is well. We'll we'll save it I mean, for when we're looks playing it. Amazing, doesn't he? He he looks like. He just he looks like just. Do you know what reminds me of a little bit of um, fucking the room guy. What's his name? Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau. Yeah, that's what he sort of reminds me of. Like you've got to be a specific kind of guy to have hair like that. Uh yeah, like oh man he. It's like you can't... He's so fucking creepy looking. He's such a CD. <laughs> but this is why I want to play it. I think it'll be great. Oh, uh, my God. It's got like 100 DLC things. Bonus video. Realizing your value. Daytime strategy. Earning the kiss. Bridging the gap. Wait, are these um, Chiefs? Strategy. No, these are like downloadable content. Bonus, bonus videos. For if you need more advice. If, if playing the base game doesn't... Turn you into a super seducer. Oh, well, that's not that's not encouraging, is it? They're, oh crap! I think I just bought super seducer on Shin's <laughs> account. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you saying he didn't already own it? Oh crap! Okay, let's uh, let's just pretend that didn't happen. Oh god! Well, that is that Shin's gonna get this this PayPal message. Oh god. Um, it'll be interesting to see who owns this on my friends list, actually. Uh, Total Biscuit owns it. Uh, Jesse Cox. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Crendor. So, oh, weird. Wait, uh, do they really? No, I don't think so. I, I, I will check, actually. Um, oh. <laughs> that, that's a bright wizard uh, blowing himself up for the fourth or fifth time like that map oh this goes very fucking green it's a bit too green here we go it's the fucking fucking awful wizards hmm i like the i like i genuinely like the ability to blow yourself up but do you know what i think it's unnecessary i think it should be more like um I think I, I think it'll probably get changed in the, in the in the patch. I'll get, I reckon it'll get patched out. I don't know. I th I think, think it's you like. Think, you think it'll stay? I think it's fine um, as like a balancing thing because everyone else has very limited ammo. Uh, but that guy. Do you do damage to all the enemies around you when you blow up? Uh, I assume so. Hmm. Well, if you do, that's kind of okay. I think. 
what like if you can use it like tactically. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think it's like a balancing thing. It's it's like it's fine. That was a long, long like, a long level on Vermintide. Do you not think? Yeah. It took yeah, a long it, like, time to it, get through it. It was it was I was feeling like pretty like like fatigued by the end of it. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that feeling. It's, uh, it, it's eleven gigs. If it's huge, no? Really? Well, get it, get it going now. Then. Is it? Um, are you still on Shin's account? <laughs> no, I've switched back to mine. Oh, we got a lot of bloody stuff installed. Lot, so I need to delete some stuff. This computer. It's too much, too much crap on here. Let's delete some. Let's uninstall some games. All right. What shall we remove? Skyrim. No one's playing Skyrim, are they? Bam. Perfect. I think this is. I think this is great. I think. I think we're done. Oh, it's it's magnificent, Tom. I love it. I love it. Um, so I think it's, it's it's a it's a top top notch piece of art. Maybe maybe actually we want the sort of like big green tornado in here. That's the book guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sting sound effects. There we go. Perfect. Nailed it. It's fucking solid. Uh, all right. Do you want? Oh, sorry, I'm just just, just downloading Super Seducer. Uh, it is not cached on ours. Do we have a Steam server in this? I wanted to find out if we do. Someone asked, do we have uh, a Steam server? Steam server. Yeah, it's like a kind of it's like a fancy sort of thing. Uh, Sam says I doubt it. If Sam doubts it, I doubt it. Cool. God, there's like a hundred. How have we got so many games installed on this? I don't know. I don't know. We were running out of space there, Sam. So I'm just, I'm just deleting some stuff. I'm just doing a bit of admin while we're here. Do we need Total War Warhammer anymore? Probably not, right? Probably not. We can have Warhammer 2, just in case. Dawn of War 2? Seems like unlikely that we're going to need that. <laughs> yeah, we don't really play... Oh, oh tips. Tom. End times. Vermintide 1. There you go. That's going as well. Um, uh, man, this music's nice, Sam. I like it. So we need to load up the... Um, do, you want to, do you want to switch places, Tom, actually? Or sure. are you happy where you are? Yeah, we can switch. Yeah, because it, it's weird. You You're prefer, supposed to be saying. You prefer that, this, this setup. I think that side is my better side as well. Like, I prefer the, ang face. the angle, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Ooh, shit. <laughs> I put it down. Oh, your head's a lot bigger than mine. Yeah. Yeah, much bigger. I really? have to like yeah. I have to like stretch stretch like really shrink the headset down. F in the chat for my mother. Um <laughs> Why, when did she, for, for for what? She's giving birth to your children? I don't know. Uh, for the, for like future? I think just, you know, in, in the past in memory tomorrow, 30 years ago. Tomorrow's mumsy's Have mumsy you saved day. this yet? No, I haven't. I was trying to look for the folder. I couldn't remember where I saved them because normally streaming stuff Normally, it automatically saves to the same place. Yeah, yeah. like um. I got, I got you. And so it might be a different size as well. Um, because I just opened up the last one. Uh, do you want to install uh, Northgard and Pit People while we're here? Um, because they're two and three on the list, and we could do a very quick blast of both of those probably. Uh, Northgard is already on here. Um, Pit People. Yeah. Oh. Pit cool. People. Easy. Right, that's installing. Do you do you have both of those in your library? Well, I'm on your account at the moment, um, and you have both of those. Yeah. So I don't think I have Northgard, but I'd like a copy of it. Do we have any? Do you have any? Um, do we ever get sent codes for that, or not? Cause... I can have a very quick look, but I very much doubt it. I mean, the amount it was not in the bundle, if you remember. Yeah. You remember, Northgard was not in the bundle. Um... <laughs> Does anyone remember that meme? <laughs> Does anyone remember that meme? <laughs> um, there we go. Someone got it. Mr. Coffee Beans. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, but Pit People, yeah. Um, Pit People was, was was quite good. But again, like, I think it, it gets a bit repetitive. Right. But you'll like it if you've not played it. I've never played it. All right. 
Um, have you, how's Super Seducer going? It literally just finished. Okay. Oh man, I'm so you, excited for this. You get that loaded up. I'm gonna have a quick look in the uh, in the sheet and see if I can um, Google Drive. Sam, you might want to cut away from this. Oh, oh. Here we go. Oh my God. There he is. What's his name? What's the Super Seducer man's name? Uh. Third panda snatch. No, it's Richard La Ruina because oh. he ruins women. Nice. And then they never be the same after they've been. Here he is. Can I hear this? And welcome to Super Seducer. Hi, this is me, Richard. Welcome to Super Seducer. Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't he have like a very soft play in it? But it's also going to be really interesting, I hope, and psychologically challenging because we used real data. He principles struggled to say psychologically. Up with the game. Psychologically. So go ahead, jump challenging. in there, and finally, thank you so much for buying it, and I hope you really enjoy it. So, is he either? Is he? Is he? Is he not? Is he not native English speaker? I don't know. He doesn't sound because he sounds slightly dumb. And no offense to Richard <laughs> Lorin. Lorin uh, but he sounds slightly slow, doesn't he? Do you know what I mean? So is he not is he not a native Englishman? Because he speaks like quite slowly and I'm like he doesn't really understand long words. Like a little <laughs> bit like David Beckham, you know? Or um Kinda he's, like, he speaks a little bit like Russell Brand. No, he speaks like he is speaks he like he doesn't psychologically. Um, he speaks like he struggled to, to to remember how to say that one. That was a long one. I had to get the dictionary out to figure out what that one meant. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't strike me as like just very sharp. Super. I mean, Russell Brand, I think he's quite... He's, he's obviously dead. He's very different to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, no, I'm not saying they are like each other, but just the, his pronunciation. Oh, so story mode. I see you. You mean that London accent? Yeah, kind of that, a bit. That more kind of com, slightly common. Yeah, it's a bit of that. But yeah, no. Russell Brands is like a super smart guy. Um, this guy doesn't seem like a super smart guy. Should we do it? I think so. So he's not foreign. He's just English. He's fully English. I don't think he probably speaks. Oh no, he's of Italian descent though. They guess where the where the voice comes. Where the where the um the name okay. comes from. I guess maybe it's not his real name. I don't know. Okay, so you're walking and a girl catches your eye. Can you stop her? Get her to talk to you and make her want to see you again. I mean, here's, here's the big problem with this. Like, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes. Where are, we, where are we going to begin? Where, what's going to be the big problem? <laughs> so I feel like there's going to be more than one big problem There's here. many problems with this, isn't there? <laughs> <sighs> Let's do it. Which street is this? I don't know. I like that yellow house. So, right. <laughs> if you look like that, Tom. If I look like that. We should, we should honestly, if we lose the glasses. Oh my God, pretend to be blind. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's just the best fucking option ever. Pretend to be blind. These are the options, are they? Approach directly in front. Approach slightly to the front side. Pretend to be blind. Pretend to be blind! Walking next to her. Wolf whistle. Yo, what up, girl? Walking with her. I think, I think pretend to be blind is clearly the op option. Well, first of all, when people stop me in the street, the instant, I always, I always think they want something. Yeah. Okay, they, they want, they want, they're begging you. Like, I walk in every day, right? It's about half an hour. And there's usually about, on average, a couple of people stop me a day, right? And so it's either someone, like a beggar set selling the biggest shoe or like a beggar saying, you got any change? I walk past a couple of them and then like, it's a couple of, there's usually, I'd say once a week, there's like a charity person. So it's like, oh, hi, I'm Collective Oxfam. You know, we're, we're looking to, you know. Yeah, one of the clipboard people. Sort out with all of the, the allegations, you know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we need to raise some money to get for our court Fuck. fees. Um, no, there's usually some charity people on the way. And so I, I, my instant thing is like, stopping people on the street. How do you, come on, fucking Richard Lewin, tell me how to, how to make this work for me. Pretend to be blind. What if I pretend to be blind? Amazing. 
Um, That's the worst I pretended to be blind of all time. <laughs> who? Who funny, is? But, you know, in most cases, she's just going to brush you off. What are you talking about? First, I mean, first of all, that's not a good way to pretend to be blind. Blind people do not walk along the street like a mummy. Unless you've just gone blind in the last, like, ten, ten seconds. Ten seconds, and then you'd be screaming. Oh, my eyes! My eyes! <laughs> ah, this is going to get me a date. <laughs> There's no way that that would be, ever be, like... Um, I mean, he didn't even get a fair shot. I feel like <laughs> if he put the glasses on and got the stick... Tapped along and being like, oh, oh, is, who is this? And they like tapped, you know what I mean? <laughs> if he had a, no. I mean, that, um, <laughs> why is he like following her? Like as well, like she goes to one side. He's very funny, but you know, in most cases, very he's funny. Just brush you off. Oh, I see, I see. He's, she's like, it's like he thinks it's a joke. Oh, okay. I it's kind see. of a bit fucking weird. You wish. <laughs> Oh, I think that worked. I think that worked just fine. It's not polite, is it? It's not, it's polite. not polite, is it? It's not polite, is it? It's uh, not polite, is it? So I didn't realise that politeness was actually one of the key tenets of seduction. Of like doing doing this. Oh shit! There's music. Did we win? That's correct. When you stop, where do the women come from? <laughs> well, <laughs> if you approach and women directly from the front, suddenly, so that she can slow down, you'll now have women stop. in their underwear with you. So, when you get it correct, you get like a little—is it like the dog thing of like if you get it correct, you get a little reward oh, of some women on the dog. bed? Is Whereas if you get it wrong, there's no women on the bed. I think so. Right. I think that's the answer. Um, do we want to do a quick check? Is this game actually banned on Twitch? Can we check that if this game is banned on Twitch or not? Because we need to make sure that we I don't I feel get like this game is going to be banned on Twitch very soon. Right. If genital jousting's banned, well, that doesn't really even have any... I mean, it's not really any... It's not banned. There's someone in Twitch chat, which is reassuring. It's fine. Okay, okay. Um, okay. So what are we doing now? So I just saw her. you and wanted to let you know you look very elegant. That that sounds like a nice thing to say, you know, a, like a, a compliment like that. Yeah. Hey, I don't don't I know you from one of my yoga classes. I think you're really beautiful. I'd love to go down on you right now. Now, who's ever going to turn that down? I think that this who's is ever like, going to say no? <laughs> well, the thing is, like, sometimes you read this stuff and people do say shit like that, and they just say it to everyone, right? Some really creepy guys, and then one percent of the time. It works, and that's all they need. Do you know what I mean? If you hit on like a hundred girls with a really creepy line, then it's gonna. It's like you know Nigeria sending <laughs> out like those emails, right? Which are all misspelled, and it's like, "Hello, you have won. We, our prince of Nigeria, has one million dollars in lottery in escrow. <laughs> Just need to know your bank account details so we can pass it through your account to get it to our clients." And they're like, "Oh." Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here's my bank details. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, 1% of people fall for it, you know? I feel like, is this... So I just saw you, and I'd really love to go down on you. <laughs> the way Would he you says it. He sounds uh -huh. like he's a foreigner. I'd, I'd really love to go I'd down really on you. I'd really love to go down Don't on you. Don't be sexual until you know... And now it's like teacher mode. It, What's this teacher mode? It's like a daytime, wise guru. She's probably just going to buy a coffee... Or on our lunch break. Why does he struggle with words so much, poor guy? I don't know. I feel I don't a bit know. sorry for him. Maybe now. that helps him to seduce. Well, because I originally thought he was like foreign and just this wasn't his first language, and that's fine, foreign. And now. <laughs> and, <laughs> Bloody foreign. And now I just think he must be dyslexic or something. You know, he's probably like a little bit. Oh, bless him. He's growing on me a little bit. Um, I feel a bit sorry for him. So. Do you reckon that's why people sort of. That's why out, he has good. Go good, him. good, like. You know, because I feel a bit, feel like he's a bit hopeless. That might be. That I mean, he be. does look a bit like, you know, he's got that the the sort of the shampoo advert from the '90s hair going. I mean, he's he's quite tall as well, which helps. Yeah. Am I getting sucked into this? I think so. I I think this is. Hey, excuse me. Oh, so there's no Can music. Can I tell you something really quickly? Oh. Sure. I just saw you and wanted to let you know that you look really elegant. Oh. I love this skirt as well. <laughs> it's really summery. Thank you. Wait, we, I didn't say I wanted to compliment this is the skirt. Good because you've given her the a back. nice compliment. It's direct, it's made her smile, and it's made her feel like speaking to you. So it's, it's a nice, confident way to start in the street. I don't so what's your plans for today? 
I'm actually going to the park uh, to feed the yeah. squirrels with my friend. What? <laughs> feed squirrels? Yeah. And ducks or squirrels? <laughs> no, just the squirrels. These we, little uh, guys, yeah? Yeah, we got them to be our friends. What do you of. feed them? Like hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> um, almonds? Almonds? Yeah. That's their favourite, is it? Yeah. It seems to be. That's nice. Well, they're really cute, aren't they? Hot they dogs. They are very cute. You yeah, like animals? Fun. I do. Mm, nice. yeah. Why do you keep bombarding me actually, with questions? That, buy some almonds, go feed the squirrels. You should try do you? it sometime. Do you have okay. your identification what are you doing with today? you? <laughs> What's your name? Where do you live? What's your phone number? What, uh, do, you, what uh, do you like doing? What's your favourite movie? Do you like music? Do you like art? Ask her questions to get her to do music? most of the talking. That, so that's the, the, like a classic thing. What Asking people questions. Well, this is just the thing to do with getting people to like you, because people like talking about themselves. Yeah. Right? And one of the things that they always say is, yeah, sure, just... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> do you live local around here somewhere? There we go. <laughs> Fucking just keep it going. Nice. He's asking all... And do you spend a lot of time in this area? Do you um, come here often? I do, yeah. Do you come? There's he literally said, do you live there, nearby? Which is incredibly um, creepy. I'm going to meet a friend, actually, so I need to go. Okay, what's Fuck her off. name? Is Creep. it a he or a she? Actually. Oh. What? In the beginning, the girl actually shouldn't do most of the talking, so you don't want to ask a bunch oh, of questions. Oh, okay, well, you're you wrong, Tom. You want to make statements and do most of the talking yourself. It was creepy. That's creepy to ask We're questions. We're learning about seductions. Yeah, I was just walking. There's a nice park down there, and then I'm gonna meet some friends. But I've got like well, if someone came up to me and just started talking that's endlessly, that's why when I saw you and I thought you looked friendly, so bored. that's why I came over and said hi. Okay. But maybe it's in the early stages of an interaction, you actually do want to make most of the conversation, so that right, she has she'll a chance talk to over. relax, get comfortable talking to you, uh, snap out of the mindset that she was in, thinking about what she's doing and hey, where she's going. Hey, my name's Richard. So that's uh, the right one. I live here. There's a park just down bikes. there. We go riding I've, around the park. I like There's squirrels. Like a nice spot where I like to see these squirrels too. The I go yeah, biking and but you, uh, go on the lake. bikes in there? What? Well, I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we do, like the penny farthing and the... You don't sound English. Okay. You're really not up, English. That's very good. are you? I will we'll change. What are you? Okay. Change, You're yeah. an alien. You're a weird fucking long haired Stop touching alien. yourself to get her turned on. Let's see, let's see what, that, what, what Richard t would like to act out in this. I like squirrels. Yeah? Yeah, and I like nuts. I like uh, cashews. <laughs> what? What? Oh, fucking pervert. You like nuts, he said. <laughs> <laughs> if you like touching yourself, great, but make sure you do it in the privacy. This is some great life. advice for those guys out there. I hope you guys will pay attention to this. Fuck. Because... <laughs> just... <laughs> oh man, I just didn't even see any of the other options. Literally just like my eyes like honed <laughs> in on that. Okay. Find, Find an excuse, excuse to take, to take off your shirt. shirt. Oh, that's really good. What do you think Richard's... his excuse is going to be? There's oh, a, it's really a wasp hot has got today, inside. isn't it? Oh. Oh, shit, yeah, a wasp. Oh, no, there's a wasp inside of here. Um, I don't know what to do about it. I'm going to have to take off my shirt. It's fucking hopeless. Yeah, you might be able to help me th with this, actually. I was thinking I've got of a rash. getting a tattoo. Let yeah. me show you. <laughs> oh. Like somewhere. No, no, no. Somewhere like on <laughs> my body. On. No, come, Keep and, come and see. See, then he just, just touches her really inappropriately guys, so as well. No, no don't go. I'm not time, done yet. You're not cool unless you know that she's into it and she gives some hints that she likes you already. I don't know. Like, for me, like, this is not... I'm not a super seducer, so maybe I've been doing it wrong all my life. Maybe I need to take some life lessons from this... Oh, my God. The thing is, like... Uh, Use checking out her earrings as an excuse to touch her. Perfect. Again, like this feels like an incredibly hey, really interesting earring. Oh god, get hands. away from me! Like, do you know what I mean? Even I have a couple on these? her behalf. There's some story behind them. Mm, a friend gave them to me. Okay, they're really cool, actually. Thanks. On the street, that works! there's not really much point to escalate the touch, so it's a little bit strange. But you could probably get away with it. Okay, so so it was that was okay. But did you notice how the women are like kind of dressed? So it definitely oh, right. is like a reward of like, ah, when you're doing well, women in their underwear. Yeah, that was a little bit creepy, mate. I, I think that one was really quite disgusting. Look but, up her skirt. But actually, fine. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, yeah, we've got a fucking seat. Well, hey, you've got something on your foot there. Let me just feel it. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> Just who would ever do who, that? Who? I mean, he, look at him in his fucking, look at him in his big fucking fat gold watch on his wrist. Look at do that again. Look at him. Look at him with his fucking perfect well, hey, that belt, golden fucking belt it. chain, his big golden hey, fucking what watch. Fuck? Like, he's got like a. I mean, <laughs> what? <laughs> where does that lead to? Why did he? I mean, these options are just—they're not. Ask her name, then say it's your name too. <laughs> 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 that's, that's a really dumb... Name? Alexa? No way, you're joking. No. That's my, my name too. Alexa. I'm Alexa oh. too. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. No, I'm joking. My name's Richard. Ah. Uh, but it's well, still good to meet you. You too. Oh. That actually... This is a funny take on it. So, of course, you need to get her name. And in this case, you know, you followed up the very common boring question with a little bit of a joke. Of course, it's important that you can uh, pull it off, you know, say it in a cheeky I, I way. I actually feel like that's a pretty good one. It's guaranteed now. to get a laugh. And it's a question I, I think that, that's grown on me. So, it's a great We're one. We're not in the right mindset for this, Tom. What kind of things do you like to do in your free time? Mm. How long is this conversation lot, going on on the street? I work a lot. I mean, so has she I'm not got places like to be? Outside. Well, the squirrels. The squirrels are going to be fucking gone. You're looking forward to moving on. Where you mentioned. Um, okay. Is she? Yeah, I just try to be outdoors. So you're one of these active people that's always doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for me to stay sitting down. I'm not couch potato. Well, every now and then, but in general, no. More active than okay. down. I'm kind of semi-active. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I do some active stuff, but actually I prefer it when, you know, someone else plans everything and they like come to this and I always oh say God. yes. Oh okay. God, I'm really uncomfortable with this whole experience, Tom. That's I like fair. chilling. It's definitely going on too long. Well, f I, look, look. Imagine like the whole premise wasn't quite as, like, s creepy guy stopping you on the street. You know, I mean, uh, if I I was I was first of all. I was just like, if I was her, I'd be looking around to see if there was a fucking like van or something that he was going to just <laughs> grab me and fucking yeah. yank me into. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I mean, I feel like if maybe they're in a queue or something at Sainsbury's and they've got like a couple of minutes, some of these qu questions would be half okay. But like, I feel like, here's the thing I feel right now. If you've managed to like, if you're this good looking guy and you've managed to stop a woman in the street and get her to talk to you for this amount of time, I mean, you, you'd you be hard pressed to fuck it up, really. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, because I mean? she must be at least somewhat interested or just super polite. I don't know. It's so a basically, minefield. it doesn't really matter at this point. If, if, if I just don't, don't think you should just stop women in the street. I really don't. I want to know what happens if- I don't think you should do it, even if you're do a charity or a beggar. Just don't, don't stop people in the street. If I'm in the street <laughs> and I'm a woman, I don't want any stoppages, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't want anyone talking to me full stop, honestly, at any point. I really love how you just dress really casual and you don't, you don't, you know, some girls like make loads of effort. So it's good that you re don't really care about how you look. <laughs> so this is the, this is the old neg, Weird isn't it? Say. Well, just what comes to mind, you know? Hmm. Yeah, you look. Well, you go have fun with your friends. It was well, kind of nice mean? meeting you. I was giving you a compliment. <laughs> Oh. There's basically no time when you would ever need to say something like this. It's a neg, you know, it's making her feel bad. And in the case where the girl seems very nice and bubbly and friendly and chatty and whatever, definitely never need to use it. She's very bitchy and tough. You could think about it. In those cases, it's usually better to tease She's very her bitchy playfully and tough. than to say something straight rude. All right. So do you, do you reckon this? Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? That seems like the most sensible one. Although, what, what do you reckon his hobby is? Oh, God. He's, already, like, he's spoken about cycling. I like picking up women. Oh. I'm really into picking you up women. Have climbing? Oh. You know, oh. like on these walls. <laughs> I've heard of it. Um, I've always wanted to, but I haven't yet. You know, it's very cool. We've got some place that we go to. I've only been like four times. I but it's I really fun. Very good exercise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really cool. So I like, I like to talk to women it. outside. Yeah, we'd like to. And uh, walk to rat, lots of, like to walk when around the block. When you're speaking to girls, it's good to be passionate about How is this the right and option? This is something you love to do, a hobby. Now, why don't you see if you can go out and sell someone on it, make it so that they're smiling like, yeah, I'd like to do that. That sounds great. Hey, so it's, it's the do you right like Warhammer? In this case. 
Me and my friends, we like okay, to play so Warhammer. Do you want to like, come and play like Warhammer with us? Climbing. I don't think that's going to yeah. work. Any other, like, my hobbies are too things? nerdy. Yeah, loads of stuff. Um, yeah. Hey, um, racket really sports, into Magic the Gathering. Um, yeah, tennis <laughs> and also squash. You know what squash is? <laughs> <laughs> it's the English. Really exciting, I don't know. You know. I mean, I oh, you haven't heard, England, heard of England, Magic obviously. the Gathering. I have to talk over you. I have to keep talking over you. It's like when you're usually inside and you've got a wall like in front to the sides and in the back. He's still talking about climbing. Anywhere, and it, I think it's the best exercise. You're constantly running, and yeah, yeah. it sounds it's very cool. Yeah. Kind of dangerous, but fun. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. The ball is um, only like that big, so even if it hits you, it's not too bad. Okay. You and can smash each other with, with the rackets, but <laughs> rarely Wait, happens. Hmm. What's he talking about? You should try it. I might sometime. I think. I think. Uh, you said you work in IT. <gasps> She's asking questions. Programmer and passion. He's a pro programmer. I, I can't believe that he would be a programmer. Say you're an ass model, then try to touch her ass. How how can that be bad? I can't think of a way that that wouldn't work, Tom. That that no, he that can't be right. This always pans out well for me. Yeah, I work in IT, but I'm also an ass model. Look, check oh, it out. Oh, come on. Look at that. What do you think? It's nice. Good, yeah? Sure. Have a touch. No, no, no. Put your hand on no. it. It's fine. Don't I'm be shy. Come on. I'd rather not. You can, really. It's okay. No. Look, I can touch you. You can oh touch me. Oh, my God. Me. No, you can't. <laughs> no. So I can get your job. Shit. <laughs> that was going fine until he tried to touch her ass. Honestly, like... This was going okay until you tried to touch her. Oh, you know, my God. Ready at that I am Richard LaRue in there. That didn't feel like it was going okay. That felt super fucking That did feel like it was going okay. No. Um, okay. Oh, God. Program but it's really boring and you don't like it much. Maybe that? Well, but no, be passionate. You've got to be passionate. Women love passion, right? That's the rule. When they're born, boom, passion. Women are full of emotion. They're like big bags of emotion just waiting for a pin to pop. A passion pin. <laughs> and they're like a big balloon. They're like a big pimple of emotion waiting to be popped. Yeah, I work in IT and actually I love my job. I think that, uh, you know, people think IT is boring, but at the moment it's like the most exciting field, right? To work in. There's so many cool companies. I really love my job. So happy to, <laughs> to go to work every day. And um, yeah, it's fascinating for me. That's great. If you have a job and you think it's boring, that's not important. Um, the thing that you need to do is show that you have passion for something. If it's, if you do like you have job, to whip out your passion you pins. Other people are exactly. Not interested, so you have to lie, and you can get them to buy in. Are you not passionate feel about your job? Emotion, this is the problem I have with with with, well. with so, seduction. You know, I guess that it's it putting boring, on this very fake persona, it, and hope that your emotion will be contagious. So you actually go on a date with her and you talk. So do you always stop girls on the street? Oh. Hang on a second, I know how to deal with this one. First of all, wait. Only if they look like they're dying to be fucked. <laughs> That's yes. the answer. Well, you know what, there's a special quality I look for, and I would only stop girls if they have that exact thing. So okay. it's quite, you know, something special going on. Do you want to know what it is, the quality? <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, it's just when the girl just looks like she's dying to be fucked. <laughs> and basically, yeah, she's ready to <laughs> <laughs> That's vulgar. That's really vulgar. That's really vulgar. Yes. That's really vulgar. Yeah. That's really vulgar. Yeah. Um, that's totally cool in the game, but in real life, I must tell you that you shouldn't even swear at girls, never mind getting sexual. As the, a man, you the have game. a responsibility. Oh, to treat well, women this with game respect, or the game? And always make sure that they feel better. What's, after the what does he mean by the game? Is it I, I don't know. seduction? No matter or is how it... rude they are, they've got a right to be rude. And if they're not rude, then even more reason to be polite and make them feel good. I mean, well, okay, so what we have now is. I thought this conversation would have been over fucking ages ago, but we've dragged it out. We've explained that we're fucking, we, we climb now. We, we like walking around seducing people. We've got a really great ass. We've been an ass model, which is funny. Um, we also love our job. We love it, even yeah. if we hate it. Because women are passion, emotion balls, and you have to lie to them. Passion pins. Yeah. So even if you're not, if you've never beat climbing in your life, just to say you bull bullshit, bullshit. Say you love climbing and you want to go with her. Uh, if you if you hate your job, say you love it. Say you're a fully rounded person. If if you've got a tiny dick, tell her you got a big dick. She's never gonna find out. <laughs> There's never a possibility that she's ever gonna find out. Lie to her. Lie to her from the start, from the very first meeting.
Okay. Fill your original memories of the first time you met your dream woman with lies. I think I think that's a good way to do it. And then just maintain those lies forever. Yes. Just keep <laughs> piling lies upon lies. When she says to you, oh, but I thought you said you, you'd be climbing and you, now you say you'd never been climbing before. Oh, well, no, I did mountaineering. Oh, yes, I climbed Everest one time. And then when she finds, looks at she says, oh, you're not on the list of people who've climbed Everest. Oh, no, it's Everest I meant. The other bigger mountain on Mars. Oh, my God. I climbed a Mars mountain. <laughs> o- okay. Do you oh. know what I mean? It's madness. This way madness lies. <laughs> I, think it, I think the madness is kicking in. Um, Here we go. No, not often at all, but I think when I'm single, when mm. I like the look of someone, I figure why not start a conversation because you never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date, or just have a nice interaction. Why not, right? Definitely. This is the right choice. I, I got bored. I mean, I think I zoned out there. It's disarmingly honest. So it's going I can't, to. I can't. I think this word he said. It's going to also I was just thinking, like, tr- the how do I get away from this creep? And show that yeah. you're confident enough to, to say yeah, that. I do so I need to ring 999? Rubbish. So it's the right choice. Well done. Do I need to, like, send a coded message to my friend? Like, pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. Creepy man on street talking to me. I'm worried about the van. There's a van. There's a man. <laughs> He's creepy. He tried to make me touch his ass. Uh, I think I think this one. Listen, I need to... I don't... live near here and I have an apartment all to myself. Now, here you go, right? Here's the thing, right? Here's a couple of things. A couple of things. Okay. <clears throat> About seduction, right? <laughs> yes. Please. Please explain to me. You have to play hard to get, right? Yeah. You have to play hard to get. Like, you, like you're not interested. You're like, oh, actually, do you know what? I'm not interested. So, but... you've got to make her... Ask for your number. <laughs> How do you do that? How do you do that, Tom? Get her to ask her for my number. So it would be like, oh, you know, well, that was nice to meet you. Um, see, I've got to go now. And then, you know, then she, she has to stop you as you're walking away. So you, like, start walking away. And if she stops you, I go, oh, oh, well, what, what, can I have your number? Do you know what I mean? And then... I imagine you're the cha- you're the one who's being chased. Nine times out of ten, though, you got to turn it around, Tom. You got to turn it around. <laughs> is there a, is there an option? I, so his option is: I live near here and have the apartment to myself. That seems like seems like a moving a bit too fast. That's the bad option. <laughs> I have a few minutes. Why don't we grab a coffee? I don't think that's a good idea, though. But again, that's moving too fast in his mind, right? Also, she's off to feed the fucking squirrels. She's got squirrels and she's got friends to meet. She's not going to abandon her friends. Just because some creep met her in the street. Um, See, I think it's being like, oh, I have to go meet my friends. <laughs> but, uh, but clearly you're not. You're just walking around the block looking for women to sit yeah, 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 yeah. On their way to the You've got to lie. Lie. Do the lie. I think this Every one. option, the lie is the win. Listen, I need to meet some friends, but why don't you give me your number and we'll keep in touch and yeah. find a time to meet. Sure, that'd be great. Bam. She seems very uncomfortable. You did pretty well. You didn't get the oh. very best result, which meant that you made a few decisions that weren't quite ideal, but you did enough to get the result and see the girl again. You got the number, so well done. That's correct. When you stop a girl on the street, you need to be directly in front of her and also. Oh, so, okay, he's playing through all of the so things again, right? Hit my menu. Comfortably stop. Holy fucking shit, Tom. Um, <laughs> good God. Fuck me, this game. <laughs> is it even, it's not even a fucking game. This I'm is profoundly uncomfortable. <laughs> oh. This is the... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Fuck you, Sam. Oh, God. <laughs> it's pixelated. You didn't have to pixelate. <laughs> 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 so good. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Sam, right, it's think, just the fucking best. I think I need to have a. <laughs> we need to have a quick break. Oh, can, um, can we just get that as a screenshot? I want that. The Louis Theroux super seducer <laughs> to be our thing that goes in <laughs> to the spreadsheet. Oh, what? Just, just, um, just a, a screenshot of that. Yeah, we'll grab that, and we'll. I need to have, get a cup of tea and. Oh, sorry, I need to have a walk. 
Thanks, everyone. <laughs> we'll be back after this, these messages um, with, with, with another more of this crap. BRB.
Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. So, so, just um, just had a little stretch my legs, walked around the block, and uh, there was a woman just walking up. <laughs> yeah. Towards me. Did you uh, get her to touch your ass? And I stopped in front of her, and I was like, "Hey, you look like you want to get fucked. <laughs> I'm an ass model. <laughs> touch my ass." <laughs> And uh, then you went got and date fed, later now. fed squirrels with yeah, her. Yeah, I got a date. Yeah. <laughs> there it fucking is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Save that for me out. Save that out for me, um, Sam. <laughs> I need a screenshot of that for the um, for the spreadsheet. It's just beautiful. For the just spreadsheet. Beautiful. For fuck's sake. So uh, we just had a go. We played a little bit of Vermintide this morning. We played oh, this afternoon. We played a little bit of Super Seducer. Um, what's what else is on Steve's bike? Do you wanna do you wanna have a look for me? Um, uh, yeah, I do. Of course. So, it was is there any free bad games on there? So I always like a, a bad free game, you know. Um. Okay, right. So the only free ones there's H1Z1. I've never actually played H1Z1. Soul Worker. And Shooty Skies. I imagine Shooty Skies is some kind of Crossy Road-esque thing. That sounds awful. All right. Well, let's do the, to the two. <coughs> well, we could, play, we could play Pit People. Have you got? Have you, have you bought Pit People? Uh, no, I'm on your account and it's installed. Uh, it is multiplayer. I'm oh. going to log into my own account. I okay. put you off my account. <laughs> You're off. You're off. You're, okay. you're, sorry, I kicked okay. you. Up. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I'll see if there's, a, I'll see if there's a key in the key list, but I doubt it. Key list has a lot of weird games. Yeah. Game, game keys and requests. Okay, we'll do a little search, edit, find, find, hit people, find. <laughs> I'm searching. Pit people. Do you have it? I don't. I don't have. I don't have pit people. Hospital hours. Ninety-two minutes. What thing is this? Um, I've got it in the street, but it's not got any codes. Damn. Uh, do you want me to pick it up? Yeah, you can pick it up. Pit. People, ten ninety nine. That's a good. That's a good price for it. Actually, it's it's good. You get a good amount of game for that. Right here we go. I'll fix the spreadsheet after the stream. Sorry, I'm just typing in stuff to remind me what we did. Vermintide two. Do we have like? Do you have like a one word, a one line quote for Vermintide two? Like, what did you think? Um, fuck! I exploded again. Yeah, that's probably it, actually, isn't it? Uh, something like that. <laughs> I think, I think, yeah. Oh, fuck, no, I exploded. Oh, fuck. Oh. Pit people failed to start. Error code 54. What did you, by the way, last oh. week. Oh, no, I meant. Oh, I can hear the noise of you loading pit people. I need, I'm going to have to get my own audio back if I can do that, Sam. Um, what about super juicer in, in one word? <laughs> <laughs> lie to all women. Uh, I'm an what, Lie to women for success. Um, that's what you do. Pit people, pit people. Have you got the music going? I do. It's good, I like it? it. It's fucking good music. So um, you're going to have to probably hit invite or play what are your options I guess you've just got play right I assume this is play yeah oh yeah there we go so I'm gonna need to join you in a moment um, oh can you hear the music in game can I invite you you might have to turn the music off Sam because the music in game is, is legitimately very good um, are you are you logged in are you in online mode what are chat doing? A chat rioting? Why are chat rioting? Because they want more super seducer. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they don't want us to play an actual game. They want us to just just seduce. They need to know how to seduce. That's the thing, chat. chat. You're you're thirsty. Is that what it is? 
Is that the right description for you? The thirsty. The thirsty motherfuckers. You just want to watch, like... I can't, I can't invite you. Oh my god, you guys. Oh, the um, level two is so good, people are saying. Level two. Should we do it? People want to be seduced, Tom. Well, um, your, uh, it's on your account. I don't own it. We've got to give the people what they want. Sure, okay. This is only because chat was so hot for it. We'll come back and we'll do a bit more Super Tuesday after we've played this. Right, how about that? We'll just give this a quick burst. Okay. Is that like a compromise or is chat going to be like fucking hot what, are, what do people want? Do you want? Do you want us to come back to it or do you want us to do it now? They don't um, care. We'll see how hot they are for it after we've played this for like 20 minutes and, and you're sick of it. So it's, it's kind of like, um, I played this with Sips, I remember. Uh, oh man, what? it's a real it's a real mess in chat. Don't come back, straw poll. Uh, just say pit people or super seducer. Pit people, pit people. No, they, this is not the chat stream. This is the Steam Spy <laughs> Steam and Game stream of decisions. Uh, I don't want to do. Oh man, it, it's. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh my god! Like, look at that fucking mess. It exactly. seems pretty fucking split. There's quite a lot of super seducers. Mm, it is, isn't it? New poll available. Oh, oh, I think Sam might have done a poll. How do um, I get you in trolled in my group? There's like a there's like a little place you can go to. Fucking pit people, man. The music is so good in this game. Um, Phone. Oh, okay. Post. Okay, I've created a session. Let's see if we can invite you. Okay. Did you get an invite? I did get an inv. An invite is waiting. Please select a slave, slave, slave spot. Sure. Normal. Yeah. Sure. Uh, would you like to skip the intro? Yes, you would. Trying to join. The intro is pretty good. Player Lewis has joined. Sweet. Oh, we're both um, Horatio. We're both Horatio. That's a bit weird. How do I? How do I change? I don't remember. Just come over here into the middle. Um, just come into the middle. How, how do I move? That way, there you go. Okay. Just roll with me, Tom. Just roll with me. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, are you driving? I guess so. Okay. So if we go to places, there's, there's usually like things we can do. So go up to that one. Okay, so help. Lumber Jeb, find the trees from the forest of missing trees. Yeah? Sound good? Sure, yes. Okay. Hey, have you guys seen my trees? I love this forest, but without trees, I feel like something's missing. Chopped more than you could grow, huh? Just like a tree farmer. They sound like, um, Terence and Philip. I see what you mean. Uh, find them, we get a reward. So it's that way, vaguely. See, this guy's going to fight us if we go near him. So you can, we... you can go near him and fight him, yeah. We'll show you how it works. So we level up and stuff. So this is, now it's like, a, so we each have our little armies of dudes. Okay. Um, so, God, I've got, you've got, you've got ten guys, and I've got ten guys. I forgot about all this. Wait, we both have ten guys? Yeah, so I've got five guys, you've got five guys. Right. Um, you can, you can, you can basically, like, tell where you want to go by left clicking. So I'm going to move her up here. Uh, and then you, you basically have to command everyone in your squad on where you want to go. Can you certain cycle them, between them? Probably, yeah, tab. Um, so certain of them will do certain abilities. So, for example, maces hit people with hats harder. Um, okay. Nets are useful to capture people. And, yeah. And then I think when you're ready, just hit space. You hold down space, yeah. Okay. So queue up Here your orders. 
and then everyone will go and do their things, all right? Nice. So then they're all going to get to move, which is a bit of a mess. Okay. Oh, shit, and some, of them are, some of them are going to shoot you and mess you up. But fortunately, hopefully, if, if you've got a little shield, you'll usually be okay and you won't take too much damage. If you leave them adjacent or like within range at the end of the turn, they will automatically shoot. God, so it's being water bad. Um, you'll probably be all right. So it'll tell you, it'll give you, give you a little thumbs up or a thumbs down if it's like a good, a good enemy to shoot. Oh. Wait, so they they automatically begin to attack or the? They, they will automatically attack. Yeah. There we go. I'm wrecking those guys. You're wrecking those guys. It's all very, it's all very straightforward. So, pit people is all about like assembling a a group that can take on a mixed bag of enemies. Okay. So some enemies will be ranged, and some of your guys will be ranged. So, for example, the guy with the two axes you've got, he's ranged, so he can actually stand behind the other people. Not that oh. he needs to. So if you send him behind, he'll still just throw. But also, it'll show you who he's throwing at by like a plus or a minus. So if they've got a shield, he'll do less damage to them because they're like better against ranged stuff. Like Horatio is really good with his shield against ranged, like enemies. Um, okay, this this sounds like a thing. Yeah, it is. Who's this little boy? This little like fried chicken bucket. So the, he's a cupcake. He will heal your dudes. Okay. So they've got zombies and guys with machine guns. Are they aliens? Oh. oh crit. Yeah, if you match up the right um, like damage type, it does more damage. So if you if you fire like throw the axes at people who have a shield, it does more damage. If you like hit a guy with a helmet with the big big mace that, that uh, the woman has, it does more damage, etc. Okay. Do you want to like surround people? Do you get bonuses for that kind of you thing? You just want to sort of try and kill them, kill them really, if you can, which sometimes can happen. Um, uh, so this guy's got a hat, so we probably want to go and see if we can spank him. Go up here, send a ratio here, here. Sure, okay. All right. I'm not sure I'm doing a fantastic job of, of healing from the back. Oh no, Cupcake is healing. There we go. It's happening. It's happening. We're doing it. This is their turn. Wow, so it, it takes a lot of stuff to kill someone. Everything has an ab abs absurdly high amount of life, yeah. But if you get the right damage type on them, they usually can go down pretty fast. Um. So basically what you want to do is if you want to target a specific person, you kind of want to like hang out. Um, and be the only person they can hit. Otherwise, it'd be 50-50 which one they hit. Right, okay. Well, it used to be. Maybe they'll hit half-half now. I don't know how, how how much the game's changed. It used to be like a chance, 50-50, which, which enemy they would go for. But I saw one of your girls just like hit one guy twice and the other guy twice. So I don't know whether that's still... Who, who knows what's going on? It is a bit mayhem. Yeah, it's a bit wacky. Uh, okay, my little cupcake is a bit sad, but it seems fine. Everything's fine. All right. I'm hoping to try and kill this bloody flying thing. You just got a du double kill. Double kill. <laughs> Congrats! Is that because I killed a guy and you killed a guy? I have no idea. I think we. I mean, we are on the same battlefield, technically, so we yeah. should we should be able to help each other out. But it feels like, in a way, with pit people, you end up like. Yeah, we've kind of separated off into like two fronts. Um, you definitely, definitely, that's the thing that happens. Uh, let's go and bash this guy up a bit. Keep him there. Uh, we'll keep we'll move this guy back a bit. Horatio is like losing his shit. Um, in a good way? Yeah, I think so. 
I think he might be electrified. Okay. That's probably a bad thing. Oh, oh yeah. I think Is he might he... be frozen in place by that guy with the Tesla sword. Shit. So he's not going like Super Saiyan or anything. Do you have a pip there's a p enemy Pipistrella down there? Is there? Weird. It's, hmm. What happened to your is Pipistrella? That? Oh, should be mind controlled or something. Oh, maybe. If it's you that. kill that thing, try and kill that Buka with that ghost thing. Yeah, that looks like a thing you're going to need to kill because it looks like it's taking control of one of your dudes or dudettes, actually. Technically, I guess. D dudette. Uh, it's taking control of one of your dudettes. Yes. Um, let's go here. Here. Yeah. Oh wow, Super Stu is 225 votes to 223 apparently. Wow. Okay, so it's actually it's actually really tight. This is just it's just a big slug fest. It seems like I've not seen these um, units before, the alien ones. Yeah, they're a bit. They're a bit so crazy. you want to protect your cupcake because he's a healer. Yeah, he's getting sad. Which is sometimes a bit tricky to do. Um. Uh. Okay, it feels it feels like it's going okay. Oh, everyone's like leveling. Okay, my cupcake's getting low on cupcake juice. So right. as he heals his, I think, I think as he heals his own life goes down. Okay. Yeah, mine's getting a bit like mangled up as well. I might need some help up here, by the way, when you're when you're when you're clear. Okay, I'm but not... there's quite a lot of monsters still left, apparently. Yeah, I've still you definitely got... need to try and kill that thing that's at the back. Cause he's only got a tiny bit of life left. Yeah, that's kind of like my main sort of worry, sort of plan right now. Uh, but I'll slowly like edge your way. But I do, yeah, I've still got quite a few, a few boys down here. Okay, oh, the cupcake dinged and he's full life again. Oh my god, that's really good for you. Mine might die actually if I'm not careful. I forgot how powerful leveling up in this was. It means your early battles. When I, at least when I played this before, I remember the early battles being quite easy because of that. Oh, because everyone levels so much. Yeah. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting into this now. This, this is sort of... Making sense? Yeah. Like he's going down. So nice. like, the other thing I remember, which might be worth bearing in mind, is the last enemy we can actually capture him. Oh. Um, oh, so you want to keep someone alive. So we could have kept that Booker guy alive till last, potentially, and then taken him onto our team because he looked pretty, his abilities looked pretty powerful. You're coming up to help me. Much, yeah, I'm much just slowly. Needed. Slowly heading your way. Well, okay. I'll, I'll just super beeline up there. Yeah. Have well, you got a couple of zombies left up there? Yeah, they they can just sort of like follow along. Yeah. This is much appreciated. Felt like. Oh, yeah, I think you had a few more, a few more dudes your direction. Ooh. So yeah, it's some, sometimes they get like a good sort of a good s split. Yeah. Ratio. She can go here. All right. I'll head up this way. Ah, oh, focus fire. Triple kill. Triple kill. Very nice. Oh, I think my little cupcake guy's healing your dudes too. Okay, God. so they're they're coming from the bottom. You go and you go and deal with those. It looks like looks like we're pretty safe up here. I'll come down here. 
I forgot how long these battles were. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty fighty. It is, isn't it? So there's a zombie with quite nice hair there. So zombies, when you have a zombie in your group, um, they do... They're slightly different units, but they get, like... So each, each unit... So there's, like, humans, okay? Okay. Humans can be given a certain set of equipment. Like, all of our humans that we have here, it's slightly... Like, almost the same. Um, like, the women and the men and the axe guy. The axe guy's actually a cyclops, Yosef. But that's that used to... I don't know how much has changed in the game, honestly. Um, probably not that much. Probably not much. But... It used to be that Cyclopses were basically almost the same as humans. So there wasn't really any benefit to having them. Well, it was just like a bit of flavor. They're just basically a human with one eye. Right, sure. Um, uh, yeah, that, that makes that makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay, right. You stay there. You come and chop. Oh, I need to move. So you get it, pretty much, do you? Yeah, yeah. I think I think this all makes sense now. Um. So we might be able to capture someone. So what we should probably do is try and capture a zombie rather than... So leave that zombie at the bottom alive, if you want. Okay. And then we'll, we'll capture him. We might be able to capture two people because we're... Like two, two dudes. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be the case. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, it's fine. I thought I'd ended my turn prematurely. Um, cupcake. So yeah, so basically what you want to do is you want to try and assemble like a squad that's quite fun. So for example, like this, I remember there's like a unicorn or like a pony thing and it's like an artillery unit. Okay. okay. And then you have more ranged units yes. as well. You have more like archers. And so you want to try and like build a wall, but you're also, you're always, almost always going to need a mace to crack people who've got skull, um, helmets on. You're almost, almost going to need a shield guy out the front who can deflect so these guys, Horatios, these guys at the bottom that we've got with the shields, are really, really good at like just standing in front and taking the um, the damage. So I think zombies keep coming back, I think. I can't remember how to stop that from happening. I think they just keep coming back over the course of the battle. Okay, well, uh, I think we'll probably kill that gunner, maybe the other gunner. So I think it's just that zombie now. Yeah. So if you bring your um, like your net girl close to him, that well, other zombies come back as well, which is always fun. Um, and you try and get your net person next to them. Okay. Net person. Oh, there we go. They can reach. Yeah, I think she might just net him. I'm not sure. Just the fact that I'm very forgetful. <laughs> Uh, my net person. There we go. Oh, okay. Did you have to press like a button to do that? Hmm. No, maybe you. Mm, what do you have to do? Maybe you have to surround them. I can't. Remember. What is it? Chat. Memes. Chat. Chat will let. Chat will let. Let us. Let us know. I'm sure. Maybe you have to put the. Put them next to it. Mm, okay. I'm not sure. But obviously. Oh. oh. Dead. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Just fucking insta killed. Well, we killed them all. I can't remember what you're supposed to do. Fuck. There you go. So, now we get our MVPs that show how well all the guys did. And as you can see, we won. We get some loot. And that loot, we don't know what it is until we take it back to town. Okay. Yeah, we chuck it into town, then we open it all when we're in town. Um, so, there you go. We killed a unit. We leveled up a bit. We got some XP. Uh, I'm not sure what that all is for, but if you keep heading towards this quest, oh, that guy looks bad. Do you want to fight him? Um, it is pro. Why not? We could see if we could capture him. Oh God. What is it? Uh, oh, he's got a little like mushroom dude with him. Oh, he's cool. So okay, so he's got like a fairy, a mushroom dude, and four. Werewolves or whatever they are, fucking shadows, something, something bad. 
Oh god. Right, let's let's try and like amass our forces together. And form up a nice defensive line. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the cupcakes are actually doing some healing because some damaged people. Whoa! <laughs> That's fancy. Right. Okay, so just like curve down a bit more and then you can like swoop in on the flank. Yeah, I think so. It seems like a legit plan. And we'll keep our archers or our throwing guys at the back. Alright, I'll stick around in this group here. Um so I don't know what tiles they can actually stand on, so yeah. Oh, Jesus, that's bad. So the fairies do an AoE attack, so we want to close the, that, that shit down. Or you want to leave him till last and capture him. Chat, how do we capture people? I can't remember. We need to, we need to know this, though. That's crucial. Crucial. Let's focus on this guy. Uh... I'm just going to protect my ranged guy. Wow, these guys are getting beaten up. It might be a few turns before they die, though. Uh. Ooh. Wow. Well, okay, probably, you might need to split up. Spread <laughs> a bit more. What's this mushroom guy do? I think he's doing something bad. Poisoning me. It looks like poison. Yeah. He can be a tile away, the axe guy, but he doesn't have to be. I can't quite remember. I'm ignoring chat, I'm sorry. Net is a ranged attack. Well, yeah, so the net girl can immobilize people with a ranged attack. If you... If you... Stand her like one tile away, she'll throw a net instead, which will mobilize the okay. unit, and then it won't be able to move. Which actually is a pretty powerful, like, pretty powerful thing to like stop people. Oh, I think the fairy's coming for you now. That was the mushroom doing that far, I think. God damn it, mushroom. God damn it. Wow, these, these guys are kind of, kind of kicking the booty. Oh man, I'm a bit comped up. So yeah, you might want to consider netting like one of them. I don't know. Yeah, those werewolves or whatever they are are pretty fucking horrible. A like gungo. They all have names, yeah. Oh my oh. god. Shadow. Okay. Let's let's net one of them. If I net, I think if I just go, that should be fine, right? So what does so what netting like immobilizes someone so you can keep them out of a fight? Yeah. Uh, okay. I kind of want to see see what happens. Well, I hope. The little fairy <laughs> doesn't come for me. Cuddles. She wants to be there. He wants to be there. She wants to be like right here. Let's try this. Let's see if it works as I remember it working. Okay, she netted that one instead of that one. Because I guess they're both equally in range. Oh. <laughs> Even so, oh, oh my god, I got thrown. I guess he doesn't get an attack, which is pretty pretty useful. Hmm. Seems like a lot of these guys don't do any... Oh, this guy's got... Maybe it's because he's got a helmet on. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Let's go and smash this guy with a helmet. Wait, so it's just like the hat, a helmet? Yeah. Okay. Any hat counts as a helmet. Sure. Okay. 
We'll see. That was a lot of leveling up, but nothing it's is dead. Nothing is dead yet, yeah? It's all in the hips. Ugh. It's all of the hips. Oh my god. See if this works. Let's see if the net net goes down. I like a good netting. Come on, net this guy. Oh, okay, we killed that little mushroom. Oh, oh he resisted it. Shit. The mushroom is dead. Oh, he's flying over this area. Oh, I can still kill him. Okay. Right. I'm going to keep trying the net. Doesn't seem to be working super well so far, but who knows? Maybe maybe the net will really come together. No, I accidentally moved the right okay. Oh, okay. We netted someone. Oh, little fairy boy's coming to me. Ow. <laughs> Motherfucker. I think the fairy's really low on life, look. We could we could kill him? I think we probably could if we wanted if we wanted to. It's uh, our decision. It's up to you. I'm not planning on killing him, but it might happen. I think he might die. I could kill him if you wanted. I kind of want to leave the fairy alive. I want I want to get a fairy in my team with little little quadcopter wings. He's, oh, dead. he's <laughs> dead. He's dead. <laughs> he's been melted badly. Oh, so how long does... Oh, then, okay, then that's gone. Ugh. He threw me. I think you can only capture, like, one guy as well. At a time. I think you have... Oh shit, we don't have any cages, that's why. You see in the bottom corner, just behind me, it oh. says how many cages I've got. See here, zero cages. Right behind me. Because we don't have any cages, we can't actually take anyone prisoner and add anyone new to our squad, which is a bit of an oversight. I should have... It should kind of give you them automatically, but I think you have to pay for them oh, at the um, base. not buy any. I vaguely remember. Uh, Mr. Cat 2000 says, I played this and captured a robot called Dank Memes. Dank memes. That's nice. That sounds about right for this game, actually. How many you got left? I still got. He's nearly dead. He's dead. Okay, he's dead. Are you just gonna keep him at bay? Well, and net him and hit him. Uh, I'll, I'll go and I'll surround him now. But it was when there was two. I just only wanted to have to fight one. That seems legit. One a turn. We've got this pretty much. Yeah. This this feels pretty good. When you have a new squad, because you you get these level ups. I thought this was something they were going to change actually, and I'm surprised the game hasn't changed more since in like the six months since me and Tips played this. Um, one thing I thought they were going to change was that the leveling thing, because it felt like it was very easy at the beginning because you got all these free level ups, right? But then later on, as you got higher level, uh, it was actually much more problematic. So what I would do is, when I was playing this before, I would deliberately take low-level people oh. along with me, so they would get free heals. Although, like, how much impact does like levels make on like damage and it stuff? It did like fuck all impact oh, shit, when I okay. played it. Like, like it was almost not worth it. Like a level ten guy would do one damage more. Oh than a level fuck! One guy. Okay. You know, it was like it was almost completely pointless to actually. But maybe they have balanced that out. So maybe leveling up guys makes them a lot stronger now. Oh, I'd hope so, so. Because it feels like we're winning these because of all of our free healing, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all of my guys were a bit mangled, but getting the heals. They're now basically also, when it's Also, when you've got the surround like that, it's random which one he attacks, I guess. So as a result, like... 
a shame we can't capture any of these guys. Yeah, getting one of these dudes in would be great. That would be great to have have a dude. Oh, wow. Super crit. We did it. Good job, guys. It's a, it's a... I think you're getting the feeling of this game already, right? Truly fantastic. Ho, ho, ho. So... Everything you're seeing, like those werewolves and the zombies, and oh, look, we've got a free musical disc. That's probably get us, get some lovely bit of extra music. Nice. I, th I hope, I, I'd like to try and do this, this quest. So let's see if we can go up and s keep following this quest. Hmm, I guess we have to go around the edge. Mm. I don't say? think you click, I think you just, you just drag it. It just follows your cursor. Oh my God, how far away is this? Fucking mountain. Uh oh. oh. We've got a fight. Oh god, what is it this time? Oh. This is a much further away as penguins with little fucking. Like tubers. <laughs> and a unicorn. Oh, you're gonna die. We should be okay. We just need to probably. We need to probably head around the back and deal with the. Um, deal with the unicorn. Like. Is he super good? Oh, who's this? They've got like a basket with eggs and a crazy haircut. That is a cyclops holding an egg basket. I think they're probably ranged. Again, we need to probably kill those like fairly sharpish. Okay. Ugh, there's like big mountain range in the middle. Yeah, but that's kind of good for us in a sense because it means we can like. Well, it's not great for us, is it? Because we're mainly melee. We can block up the mountain range with our melee and chuck stuff through it. Potentially. I don't know. I don't know what the strategy is here. We'll work something out. We always work something here out. Here they come. Okay, I'll try and like filter through the mountains. So you see that? Like, see this thing inside. here? This glowing candy cane? Yeah. That's going to explode. Because that's uh, the... Um, the unicorn. That's the unicorn horn. Okay. You like. Yeah. So you don't really want to stand near that if you can avoid it. I like the, how like derpy the unicorn looks. <laughs> okay, what have we got here? What the hell is going on? I'm a bit worried about what these penguins are actually going to do. It seems that they are not ranged units. You're just going to close her down, then then go around the back. Okay, I'll hold them at this pass. Well, I was just going to like kind of send everyone up and maybe try and start hacking up some little uh, little penguins. Well, I guess you've got like a better choke point there because you can get three of your guys in. Yeah, I think I just want to hold them here like this. You're starting to wreck those wreck that guy at the back. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you see Horatio at the bottom takes no damage from that archer. Oh. So if you've got a shield, like, you, it's not worth shooting him at all. Um, oh, God, they've just, like, chucked that through there. Mm. You can press a right-click to undo your moves. If you yeah, yeah, move. yeah, it means to find... Find that. How tough. Sparkleberry. I'm going to go. Bury the horse. I'm going to go and kill this horse. It's not really very tough. These penguins are fucking pathetic. Oh, fuck. For some reason, I ran my cupcake in. But that's probably a good idea. There's fucking penguins everywhere. <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh, so penguins look like hit everyone around them? Hmm, I don't know. So you want to be careful not to like get too clumped up, so so the penguins can hit multiple people, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, just whatever. Just fucking figure it out yourself, bitch. Something, something's happening. I like the music in this game, man. It's very cool. Isn't it like one of the best things about it? Yeah. It's just amazing job. If you did the music for this game, what a pro. Unicorn doing? 
good. He keeps throwing these candy coins at me. Oh, these these fucking werewolves, they heal up at the end of every turn. So I guess we want to leave them till last. Ooh, if we can. Is he bleeding? Where's that unicorn gone? Okay. Oh yeah, that unicorn is taking absolute pounding. He's gonna be dead soon. Yeah, he'll die next turn. Hopefully. I didn't really rate the unicorn when I tried him out. I think obviously a lot of balance change probably happened since I played it. But when I played before, it felt like zombies were like the most powerful. Well, not the most powerful, but very good like just tar pit units to like just block up areas. Yeah, yeah. And then um, I can't remember what I really enjoyed using. There was a there was a couple of units that you ha could, had to get. Like the fairies were pretty bad. Um, I can't quite remember what was really good. The fairies with like that map, the big like AOE that looked like pretty cool. Is there anyone I'm bashing here? Right. I'm just gonna move all like, everyone up. Okay, it feels like this is going pretty good. Fucking penguins, man. <laughs> wow, they hit hard though sometimes. Everything takes quite a while to die. I feel like that. I feel like that's a problem in a sense, like. And I always felt like that was a problem. And I thought it would be addressed in, in, in the release. And I'm surprised it hasn't been. That's one of my longest, biggest concerns about this game, really. Like, it just seems to... Everything's just sort of just wailing on each other. It just seems to take a very long time. Unnecessarily so, though, right? Yeah. Like, surely you could have given them half as much life pool. And it would still be, like a really fun tactical battle game. I don't know why everything has to have 100,000 life. It's a little bit like, um, like a game like Borderlands, you know, where you have to shoot a guy yeah, in the I, head like a uh, hundred times for him to die and you're like, fuck me. Yeah, or like um, when we're playing Vermintide, that troll. If it had half the life but hit twice as hard, I think that fight would be way more exciting. I mean, we might have died, to be fair, because we didn't know what we were doing. But... Oh, for sure. But when you're just like, ugh, just chopping, and watching her health bar slowly that's go all down. You do, yeah. It's job. It feels so like un. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus! What the fuck? Yeah. Did one I... of my guys just get killed? No. I... Oops! I a fighter so. died. They'll be back at the house. Yeah, something hit for like 50 fucking damage or something. What died? My main guy. Horatio. What? Yeah. How? Like there was a big explosion. Was he stood in like the middle of all the fucking penguins or something? And did they all like attack him together or something? No, like I don't. I, I honestly have no idea what the fuck happened. <laughs> I don't know what these up arrows mean. Does that mean they're healing? Does that mean they're like a god they, buff? Are they buffed? Does that mean like it's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Well, these guys all have like musical instruments, so maybe they're like buffing each other. Oh. See, look. Oh my fucking god! What was that? What happened? I don't know. Did one of your people get... Yeah. That happened to me. What caused everyone to melt? Was it these penguins and when they die, they explode? Well, maybe. Is that it, what it is? I don't... I don't know. Penguins explode when they die, it says... Anaconda in chat. Jeez, tech. okay, wow. Well, that's a bad thing that we didn't realize. But I guess we have to bear that in mind from now on. Because that was devastating damage. Yeah, that was that's horrific. Unexpected. Um, I want that. I want a, a kamikaze penguin. Well, you can capture one, probably. Which we got to get, if, if we actually didn't forget to bring some bloody cages with us. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, are the, do the, are the penguins like buffing the guys? Are they like buff kamikaze buff units? I feel like there's a logic there. So we just need to make sure we're not right next to a fucking penguin when it dies, I guess. Yeah, they're generally pretty... So I lost my hammer girl, is who I lost. And... Yeah, I just lost my hammer girl. Pip Estrella. 54 damage they do when they explode. Fuck. So what, you just supposed to kill him from range? I guess so. Fuck me. That's bad. I mean, I could understand, I could do it, but I didn't realize when, when it was like a big melee. Yeah, like, ugh. I mean, obviously I've been playing a lot of Into the Breach lately. And one of the one of the things that you can do in that, for example, is um, like you can, there's like certain VEC that explode, right? And you can use the VEC to tactically to like make them explode and kill someone else. But it feels yeah. like with this game, you've got so many rounds that don't matter, right? Because you know what you're going to be doing is weakening them. And so yeah. it's like, and they can like leap over you and punch you backwards over their head and all sorts of stuff. You're going to be completely out of position every round anyway. Yeah, and it's so fast paced. Like you're kind of just like scrabbling just to do something each turn. Not that I'm, I mind like particularly. Oh, is your cupcake in trouble? Nah, it'll be okay. It's going to run away. Uh-oh, he's uh -oh. blown up. Is she dead? No, it's okay. She's fine. Okay, now we just got to do the cleanup. Yeah, this will be, this will be okay. But now we've lost a couple of guys, it might be tricky for us to actually finish this off. I mean, go, I mean, do any more combats. We might have to be really careful not to get in any more combats. Try and dodge people. Yeah. Okay, well, everyone's leveling now, so it'll, it's, it's fine. We're both a man down, though, which is not the worst. Oh. Okay. Let's just put them somewhere. I like that they added multiplayer to this game. Yeah, yeah, like that's cool. Like it's playing nice this with someone play else is, is definitely more fun. But at the same time, like it's it doesn't really need it, right? Do you know what I mean? It doesn't. It's nice. It's nice that they've got. I like the arcade mode a lot, and I'm glad it's in. But I feel like the game doesn't necessarily need to have it to be. Good. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, It'll be the very super much. enhance. <laughs> I mean, the it tactics. feels like five people is fine. Ten is like a lot of people. And it's very just noisy when you've got 10 guys on each team. Yeah, and I guess that's, it makes the battles bigger. You're fighting more people. I feel like if you were doing like two player, maybe it could just be less numbers. Like, I don't know, like... Like if you were playing single player, you can have six guys. But if you're playing two player, you can each have four or something like that. I don't know. Just throwing, throwing ideas out there. I don't know why I'm throwing ideas out there. A, a game which is clearly very happy with it. A lot of people who really love it and... There we go. Look, we lost Pipistrello and Horatio. That's not good. Well so I guess Horatio. that means they don't get... So there's more loot. So we might just want to fucking go home now and try yeah. not to get fucked up too badly. Win exclusive loot. So, yeah. All right. We, well, we, we're that way. We're in the forest anyway, so maybe we'll just keep going a bit further. Oh, there's the thing. There's the quest objective. Is that a fight? Oh. What are these trees doing here without a forest? Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Okay, run. Oh, he's chasing us. Okay, run back the way we came. That way, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, that's the right way, yes. Left. Okay, dodge this guy. Go, go south of him, yeah. And then go back up north. Yeah, yeah. Okay, up, 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 up. Directly up. Perfect. What a pro. 
Thanks. Thanks for the trees back. Great. Cool. Okay, Cheers, now guys. see if we can get back home. And our guys should be returned. Yeah. And also, we'll get all of our loot as well. We just need to make sure we don't aggro anyone on the way back. There you go. Oh, that's it. So all of our loot gets chucked in. Here it is. This is all of our loot. We get... I've got... Diff I know I've got the same loot as you, I think. We've got a bow, uh, a silverback hat, which is a helm, an ancient blade, gold, a record, so what, what large do we, what skull. Do we... So so these icons next to them show what they are, right? So a scorpion stinger is a, a large mace. Okay. A silverback gorilla head is a plate, plate helm. Right. So, oh. so grab everything. Um, we did the quest. We got a quest reward. It's got stuff in it. Okay. That is, I don't even know what that fucking is. I think it's um, a cupcake weapon. Yeah, it's a cupcake um, alternate color for the cupcake. So now you can go. Oh God, it's, fuck, everything's fucking moving. <laughs> um. We can even unlock an additional slot for him. So if you go to the pit, oh, is it the pit? No, it's not here. Go back. It's um, this one. Okay. So if you go left. Oh. Uh, into there. In, no. No. Back right. Back right again. That one. In there. Okay. So now you've got your squads. Okay. okay. So this is your squad at the bottom. Um, and this is my squad as well. They're the same. So you can click on them and insert like change up stuff so they go like it can be like raspberry swirl raspberry swirl and a waffle or raspberry swirl and a a bow there you go. <laughs> okay so in fact i think i already have like a bunch of stuff on other characters or maybe i haven't what does giving him a crown do what so crown is your leader so right. he's tougher and has like bonus damage and stuff so basically like Certain, so as you can see, like certain things will change their their stats over on the right, right? So it's like they can only have a so each 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 class can only have a certain amount of weight that they carry. So for okay. example, if you're carrying like a shield and wearing a plate helm, you can't also have a large mace, right? So you're over weight limit there, so that's no good. So you need to pick a pick a loadout that works, right? Right. Okay, that makes sense. Um. So yeah, you get to pick basically what you want to do. It's usually good to have someone with a net. Um, if they have less weight, I think they can move slightly further. Uh, and they have like slightly more dodge as well, usually. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, because the um, some way people could super zoom around, whereas other ones could not. Tricky. Emerald Buckler. Yeah, so now we've got some cool things. We can give give guys... Okay, right. So I think I bought a new slot. A lollipop. Oh. So you bought a new slot, but you don't have anyone to go in it, I don't think. Oh, yeah, you do. You have another cupcake. Yeah. Relish. You could just throw him straight in there for some reason, if you want. Um... Oh. No, that's my B team. Oh, yeah, and how that's your I, C team. How do I change back to my... Uh, oh, there we go. You've, you've figured it out. So there you go. That, that is pit people, by the way. Um, Holy shit. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's good. I've played it before with Sips. It's... Um, man can also be mean a male human. Yeah, so there's like... So there, there are different races. Like this guy, the guy here, he's, a, he's actually a Cyclops. So he's like, sorry, he's a Demiclops, De which I think is like a half Cyclops, a Demiclops. Okay, okay so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why not? It's a different thing. And obviously, um, your cupcake is a cupcake. Um, you can find different ones with different names out in the world and build your build your ideal team and go and kill bosses. It's, it's, it's a tactics game that's a little bit long-winded and gets a little bit repetitive, but I enjoyed playing it before. So maybe you will too. What do you think, Tom? Yeah, it seems cool. I like I like it. I do feel like I want to play play some more of it. So that I think is immediately a good thing. Um, how much? Who knows? Who knows? Do you want to do an MS Paint? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do it. Um, I'll I'll do it. All right. MS Paint. Cool. Um, 
paint. Damn it. Everyone screamed. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? In the thing. Oh, in the... Um, that's because I quit. Uh, don't worry about it. We got this. Yeah, so that was that was Pit People. That is number, uh, like, two on Steam Spy. Why is it... Oh, has it had, like, recently had, like, an update well, or that, something? Well, obviously, this week, the full release happened. What? So, this that game is in full release. Yeah. What? Pit people. Uh, so previously it was like, it was like, it's the, it feels like exactly the same game that I played. I don't know what has been added um, since, you know, since I played it with Zips in a year ago, feels like. Yeah. Oh God, this is going to be a long MS pain. No, 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 it'll be fine. Um... Uh, let's do some read some read some messages. Please. Yeah, what are what are the the people saying? Uh, Tomic Snowdrop says, "Hey, there's just a heads up. I'm suing Ben for the outrage he committed last night." Suing Ben? Oh my gosh! What outrage did Ben commit? Well, I think he watched the Necromunda video that went out and assumed the gender of Atomic oh. Snowglow. He says, "I'm actually male, and my Necromunda character does not make me feel female." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, actually, does not make me female. He actually said. Oh. Um, it doesn't make him feel female or be female. Okay. Sorry, Tom Snowflake. You should have clarified that. Um, that. Everyone wants to be seduced by us. So we might have to load up a bit of Super Seducer <laughs> for the last 25 minutes of the stream because everyone wants to watch it so bad. Just see me get really angry about it. Um, <laughs> You're getting quite, like, quite into it. Saniel oh. says... I donated last week to say you're my two favourite yogs, but I think your internet died before you got to read it. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry yeah, Senio. the internet. Yep. Well, we made it through this week so far. Yeah. Um, uh, Lanty Bunning says, hello, boys. I will be attending a week-long brewing course in Bristol soon. Any Bristol survival tips or suggestions? If you're doing a brewing course, you sound like a very kind of, um, you know, outdoorsy active, survival-y type man. Uh, if I know anything from survival shows, you should drink your own piss. Um, <laughs> so try that. Make your own beer out of piss. Why not? Piss beer. That must be a fucking thing. That must be a thing. That must be a thing. I will not look it up, though. Uh, thank you, Lanty Bunny. Jaden says, hey, hey fans. Hey, fan. What, what am I reading this? Hey, guys. Big fan. Wondering if either of you know chemistry because I need some help. I'm sure he doesn't need help. Uh, in particular, Electron Orbitals. Just started doing uni, doing a double major on clinical lab sci and biomed, but I have no idea what chemistry is. Um, well, me, honestly... Me neither, man. Me neither. Uh, electron Orbitals, they're kind of not a real thing. It's kind of like a model that we use to represent the phenomenon that we observe. So... And quite frankly, you don't really need to know about electron orbitals. I mean, I guess you might do for an exam. So, yeah, it's not that complicated. It's a little bit like chemistry is a bit, a bit like shit maths, right? <laughs> I like that. It's kind of like, a... it's kind of like you learn things that are supposed to work together in a certain way, but then they kind of don't in reality. Like, there's a lot of things in chemistry that you learn. Like, you learn. Like like orbitals and stuff will help you help you to see how things should interact. But then when you actually test them, not it doesn't always go that way. But often it actually does quite a lot with electron. It's, it's not quite as good. Um, anyway, uh, Jaden says on a simpler note, what are your guys' favourite dog breeds? Um, I like a Schnauzer. A Schnauzer. No, I like I like for some reason I like I like I like a smart dog. Like a collie or something, you know, like a, the smarter okay. the better. Anything, the little dogs, the really little dogs, feel like they don't have any brains. Yeah, they're much smaller, so surely they have a smaller brain. Yeah, and they're, just, they're just madness. Like like a little budgie is just so, so, they're lovely and adorable, but they're derpy as heck. I like a dog that's like, I like something a little bit smarter. On my yeah, dogs. yeah, yeah, I, I, I get, kind of get into that. I like a friendly, smart dog that, that, that isn't quite as just, just not derping out all the time. 
you know? But they're pretty dogs are fun too, actually, aren't they? I like big dogs. Yeah. You know, I don't want I don't want like a little rat dog. You don't want one that goes in your handbag. You want one that goes in the back seat of your car. Yeah, yeah, like or you know, even a, in the boot of your car. Don't let it in the back seat. Yeah, like just a big, big proper size dog with um, his head hanging out the window, just goofing around, just um, goofing up the place. I think is you know yeah. my my sort of style. I like uh, um, Irish wolfhounds are kind of cool. Chihuahua is fifty uh, percent tremble and fifty percent fury. Love Punch says my punch is a very smart Lewis. Compared to like um, a bigger bird though, like a teal, I think a, a budgie is is going to struggle on a on a ex- on a chemistry exam. Uh, Jaden, thank you. Uh, Nula Vivian Alga says hi. It's your resident non-artistic factorio specialist Latvian here. Great to see you this Saturday. If you haven't already seen it, you should watch Lewis the Silver Tongue Brindley video. Oh my god. I, I, well, apparently we have to watch Tom Amazon Echo as well, according to chat. Have you seen Tom Amazon Echo? I've, I've not done. We, did we watch the Lewis one last week? We did. Or the week before? We did. Um, um, Amazon Echo. I'm Googling it. Oh, is it this one? Is it this one? It might be this one from Random Yogscast Crap from uh, 4th of March 2018. Yeah, this looks about right. Can Tom hear this? So let me uh, know I, need to, I need to close down pit people because I'm still just... Smashing what? weird, just all F4. It's a classic a classic way to exit. It um, wouldn't let me alt F4. I had to it then say, oh. do you want to quit? Oh, wow. F4 made you do a little checkbox. Are yeah. you ready, Tom? I'm ready. I'm going to keep kind of drawing. Okay. As, um, well, you've got to see this up on the screen here. Alexa, what do you do? Uh, oh, mech. Pilot. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Alexa, play rock music. Shut up, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. Alexa, what time is it? 14. <laughs> you actually don't have to yell at it, oh. okay? It uses far field technology so it can hear you from <laughs> anywhere in the room. Echo is pretty neat because it knows all sorts of things. Steve Buscemi saved people in 9 11. How can it know so much? It's so small. Well, it updates using the cloud. That's also how it gets its answers. You just read that off the box, huh? <laughs> Alexa, how many <laughs> teaspoons are in a tablespoon? Fourteen Nazis. Um, okay. <laughs> Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Shut up! <laughs> Alexa, alarm off. Is that me and you laughing? You gotta get up. Mm, it's Saturday. Alexa, what day is it? Uh, oh, 9 11. I'm up, I'm up. <laughs> what did the dog say after a long day of work? What? Today was rough. <laughs> get it? Get it? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> another one. Alexa, tell me another joke. Steve Buscemi, Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. Jesus. Alexa, define annoying. Shut up, kids! I love Nazis. <laughs> Example, my brother. And with the companion app, you can access Echo from anywhere. Get my whip. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. My God. It was beautiful. I love, uh, oh, Nazis. <laughs> Ice cream. Steve Buscemi, 9-11. Feudal Japan. Good job. Say a few, <laughs> few weird things. So this was from this was from last time. Of course, yeah, when I asked you to fucking record the dumb shit, I f- completely do, forgot I asked you to do that. To do random things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is magnificent. Thank you, random yogs cast crap. Um, oh god, glorious, glorious. You know, magnificent. It. Is there more? The Mad Cat one was better. There is a better one. <sighs> More? Nazis. I don't think I could take more. That was glorious do you, enough. Do you want more? Find the Mad Cat one if you want to watch it yourselves. I don't have time to that. I've got to seduce women, Tom. I've got to seduce women. These women ain't going to seduce themselves, okay. are they? Right, I think, I think I'm probably done. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Who is that guy there with the fucking the tubby guy? Can he have a door? Can you give him like a, a door? A door. Do, 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 do. do people have doors? Could you give like some strawberry stripes to the, the cupcake as well? He needs a door. Like a door, yeah, like a door. Uh, strawberry stripes on the cupcake. Also, what kind of 
kind of cupcake hell did that cupcake come from? Looks like he's made of, I don't know, just, just horrible stuff. <laughs> Doesn't <What>? it? <laughs> it looks like, it's like a poop on, with jizz on it or something. It's disgusting. <laughs> Why does it look so revolting to me? It just looks filthy, <laughs> that cupcake. Why? Why? Sorry. Um, getting distracted. Strawberry says, hello, Tom. It's me. Hey. Do you remember me from yesterday? The nagging guy. You promised me a date. Oh, my God. Expect to meet me in the near future. You will recognise me by the firm grab on your right buttock. Oh, my God. Strawberry, thank you. Uh, Stephen Welsh. Stephen Welsh says, I was really disappointed with Simon last night as he ignored almost all of my donation messages. I think, um, I think, uh... They were a bit edgy for Simon. Right. Simon is an edgelord. Uh, yeah, it, like, it's weird. Like, there's some things that he definitely takes offence to and some things that he doesn't. And right. it's, um... Oh, my God. Atomic Snow Globe says, I can see politically correct, Lewis. Oh, uh, yeah. That's that's how I... I don't know where that was from. I think that was from the, um... Super seducer earlier. RB, uh, RBBR Knife says, I've always loved point and lick adventure games nice Johnny Man J said is Super Seducer some sort of extrovert thing what is going on don't know uh, Theodore I know you he says hey Lewis and Tom Steamy Saturdays are the highlight of my weekend where is the second half of last week's VOD we how internet was carved but me and Tom actually carried on playing Into the Breach no spoilers for like an but... hour um, and then we went home it's alright are you going to cut that up or did you I have the footage do. If, um, I want to see how nerdy it is because we we literally were, didn't realise we were recording I didn't even realise we were recording because we loosely said to Daph like oh maybe maybe like just keep recording because we might put it in the VOD and then um, we just sat there and played Into the Breach didn't we like yeah friends. so uh, it was good fun well, yeah we were just like chatting but it might just be like super hardcore it might be super boring because we weren't really on entertaining mode we were like just playing it for fun yeah. And so we were like silently puzzling this game out and, in silence, which was fine. Um, uh, but it was, it was, man, it was actually really good. I thought. So I don't know about the VOD. There might not be one. Uh, I don't know what about the um, the other one. There might not be one. There maybe. Who knows? Tim Bergstrom says, uh, Lewis, maybe there is seducing your personal trainer DLC. I feel like you might be pretty good at that. Thank you, Tim Bergstrom. Uh, Seth0987 says, would either of you consider being friends with any of your fans? Granted, they weren't annoying and you'd be friends with them if they weren't a fan. We have become friends with a lot of our fans. Um, That's in fact how most people end up coming into the Yorks cast. Um, and it just, it, you just have to end up playing with people. Like I think that because Pyrian has this stream, for example, where he plays with people from his Discord, He's ended up becoming with a lot of a lot of friends with people who were originally fans, and some of them, like Shane, you know, have ended up going on and doing casting and stuff as a result, and being able to sort of, yeah, it's interesting. Rhythm was a good fan originally, and he's like a pretty good chum. Mm. I think like, um, I think just if it, if it's chill, if it's cool, if they're good looking enough, like you know, nice nice boobies. If they'll touch your buttock. <laughs> if they will, like, yeah. They can, if we could seduce them in a super way, then Seth, sure. Bottle Gnomes uh, donated when we were playing Super Producer. He said, too hot for Twitch. Too hot for Twitch. Um, Thank you. Robo Bongo Cuckoo Cop says, happy steamy Saturday. What are your thoughts on Total War Arena? 50 buckaroos. My God. 50 buckaroos. Are you going to oh. play more Total War Arena? What are your thoughts on it, Tom? Um, man, it's cool. Like... I kind of wish that regular Total War controlled a bit more like Total War Arena. Um, ooh. As it controls, like, I don't know, just how the units move. It's, like, a bit more reactive. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Me and Ben have played a bit of lunchtime since... Hey, mate, Richard LaRuina. Since we were playing so Hey, mate. And hey, mate. To Super it's me, so it's Richard. Blah, blah, blah. To be getting it into your yeah. hands. We had a fantastic what is happening time here? it, and I hope that you have a real blast What's this on his face? It's like but a it's also something. going to be really it's interesting, fine. I hope, and psychologically challenging, What's this here? because we use real dating principles in coming up with the game. And so how many takes go did ahead, it... jump in. How many takes did it take for him to... Um... Oh, wait, is... Two girls in bar. That's a pretty big challenge. Girls singing in coffee shop feels like 
not too bad. Friend to girlfriend. Oh, it's breaking out of the friend zone, Tom. Oh. First date, Alexa. Alexa, go on a date with me. <laughs> uh, wait, you didn't have chapter two unlocked. Does it not have steam clouds? Steam. What a shitty game. Uh, do you want to log in by here? You can, you, you log, you, oh, I'm going to have to switch places. What is, what, a, what, a, what a disaster. What a disaster, Tom. I can't believe it. Because um, you, um, you changed your Steam password, so oh, I can't hack you anymore. Go on, log in and I'll, I'll put it in. Um, bleached to... Anus says, <laughs> nice. I like my women the way I like Lewis. That's a very inappropriate comment. Uh, yeah, so sometimes... <laughs> sometimes we can't read the messages. If it's... <laughs> If it's too too spicy for for Twitch, uh, oh fuck! <laughs> I know what it is now. I can now uh, now hack into your account again. <laughs> there we go. I typed it in. Hopefully, no one could see that. I was holding the keyboard up to the camera. Oh, <laughs> shit, I think it's I'm fine. Sure it'll be fine. People aren't going to be able to see. Uh, Password exposed. Man, I used to know everyone. I did that thing where I passwords. must have pressed tab and it, I just typed my password into just, the username. Oh, you just saw it. It's really embarrassing as well. It's I love Tom 420. Um, everyone saw that. Don't worry, though, because... Oh, chapter two, bam. Even if you can hack me, I still get the Steam, Steam like, cloud guard, Steam guard. Steam that. guard. That's true. Go for it. Uh, Two beautiful girls are sipping wine. You'll need a lot of game to get anywhere with them. Oh, God. Are you ready for this challenge? Go. Phone number. Oh, God. God. I want to just... I mean, this is a, a lot of... This has got to be, like, difficulty. Oh, my. This has got to be legendary. Oh, oh my. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, How will you break the ice? Ask them if they're talking about you. If they say no, ask why not. I mean, that's such a cheesy chat up line, isn't it? I think that might probably work. <gasps> ask them if they know what you like in a girl, the answer being your dick. Stay stealthily creep up on them from behind the sofa. Yes, Tom. I, both of these are such strong choices. Well, let's pick one and just go for it. So where are they? What is this? He's sniffing them. them. Yeah. That's so weird. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, oh, good. You Get out. <laughs> oh my god! For for a second, I was worried that was going to work. Yeah, I mean. Do you have? No, I mean, that's the problem, isn't creepy, it? The acting is so bad in this that so sometimes game, it feels like you're watching yeah. this sort of movie where, <laughs> in some <laughs> weird fucking universe, that actually worked. Oh my god! I mean, they were like, they they obviously found it amusing when they were recording this, right? But clearly, they would be. They're not very. These are not professional actors. No, I don't. They? I they're just. So. Yeah, what I think so. They're just Fine, local but, um, tarts. Hey, hey. Local tarts. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Do you know what I really, oh really like? Oh, God. Surprise me. My dick. Oh. Surprise. Oh, surprise. Happy smart. surprise. How smart. Does it work? Does it work? It yeah. works very well. Don't need, don't need anything. <laughs> it's ready now to work. If you like. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're going to prove? Prove it. Yeah. It's working. Show us how it works. Okay, why don't you take this out? Look, sure. you ready for a big surprise? Oh, oh the big one. Whoop. Check it out. Not so big, sorry. Oh. What? Who is this guy? What's wrong with him? I don't know. How far does he need to take this? <laughs> Did he actually just like flop his dick out? I never but wanted to hurt your feelings, you I know? Can, um, I work it as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> No, we're fine. Really. I mean, Thank you. this kind of yeah. thing would get you actually... You would, sorry, you would... I didn't mean that, but... How are they still talking? And why is she, like, uh, apologising for hurting his feelings? And I assume he still just has his cock out. No problem, anytime. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. That was fun, at least. Oh, oh, you can see him just off camera in the mirror. 
he's just exactly lurking. He's just like went well. off to one side and he's just stood there like looking, like <laughs> watching the rest of the scene. Don't talk about I mean, your dick. Don't show nothing to do with your dick until you're. If that stuff would get house, you <laughs> prison you time. You. Yeah, yeah. She likes you. You've kissed a bit. Flopping you know your dick I mean? out in a way, pub. Way, 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 way later, and with everything going really, really well. Otherwise, but this is the no wrong dick. thing to do. Okay, is there a way we can lie to them? Uh, is lying an option? Just have the lie. Button. Ask them to help or choose a present for your friend. That, that seems like a lie. That seems like the best one. I don't know. It must be the top one, right? It must be. Are you talking about me? I and mean, why not? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It seems a bit like creepy because they'll be like, oh, because you've got your dick out. It's like not that big. Um, so is it, is it choose Next. a present? Is that the we icebreaker? It's like, oh, hey, girls. I'm yeah, looking wait. for a present yeah, for my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have He's a, a footballer. Hey, girls. Are you talking um, about me? No. Well, why not? I see. Yeah, you've got to, you've <laughs> got to find a way to like insinuate yourself in. Oh God, <laughs> I don't like yeah. this at all. Um, probably that's number one, and then number two would be uh, about guys, and number three about shopping. Like top three subjects. Hmm. But talking about you as a man, talk as well. Yeah, I combine all three, <laughs> and, and I go shopping. So you can just talk ah, about okay. me the whole time. And we'll be we'll be <laughs> okay. fine. That's correct. Nice one. It's a cool, funny line. You know. In the bar, ideally, you want to get girls you, laughing. That makes him seem like fast, a fucking right? dick. Be more interesting I mean, you end up with these incredibly weird, corrupted so conversations going on. This is a nice on. light opener. Again, <laughs> you need to deliver it with a little bit of a smirk and a smile. Not How is this the correct fucking well option again? Instantly late. Come back to my room. Uh, from school. From school. He's in. He's in there. Well, He's got his foot in the door. Not school, like five years old. No, no, no. Okay. And, uh... Are you in the same class or something, yeah? Uh, no, we <sighs> started different. This whole thing relies okay, on let him me guess. So I think that having charisma and being funny, though. Fashion. It's like those options are not and I think are irrelevant. Yeah, th this has gone quite like, like heavily no. further on from... Oh, yes. <laughs> the opposite. Ask a dumb fashion. fucking question <laughs> that would normally no. be Wait, creepy. Wait, are you saying that this isn't yeah. actually an amazing yeah. guide at being Sorry. a super seducer? Yeah, so, <laughs> is, that, is that what you're trying to claim right now? I think that might be the problem here. Because I feel really. more seductive already. Uh, oh, related to the business between her legs. I don't know she quite <laughs> what she was talking about, but that seems like a great thing. Accuse them of being materialistic. That's going to be bad. Say it's cute and easier than a real major like math or science. Now, what I remember being told, right, this was always... There was always, I lived next to a guy, right, at university. I, I really want to tell all this stuff. I, I really want to talk about this because there was this guy I lived next to who was literally like this guy, only way worse looking and, and was weird and kind of had that weird way of talking as well. Like, he was a little bit hopeless. Okay. Um, and he used to go out every night <laughs> to, to hit on women and he would tell me all of his, like, pickup strategy bullshit. So with two women, right, his strategy would obviously be to, to hit on the uglier one. Fuck me. Right? Oh, so, uh, so that the attractive one gets jealous. Yeah. And it's like... Bam. But uh, there was all this stuff about like bringing a wingman and like, you know, separating them off. And like, oh, it was so sinister. All of it. I hated. So there was a guy that we went to school attitude. with that we used to... He used to be like a good friend of... Um, a friend of mine, the door <laughs> goblin. And we, we were talking to him at one point. <laughs> I feel sick. And he was so explaining horrible. some of the game stuff that he does because he had got really into of being a pickup artist. That's the best, the best thing to, to, to have for a healthy set of relationships with people is to have a, a game. It's to game them. The, I just, I just, oh. But he literally had a pocket when he went out on his pickup strats, would have like, lint and feathers and stuff in his pocket. Lint and feathers. So he could go along to the girl that he was interested in, like order a, a drink next to her at the bar, stealthily put something in her hair, do like a lap of the pub, come back over so he can be like, you have something in your oh hair. Oh my God. And he was saying like, man, it just works. It works all the time. Like, man, you should really be, like, trying... Like, you should just have just a couple of, like, little feathers. There you go. That's tip of the day for some... us. For you guys out there. <laughs> you like... guys are out tonight. 
what trying the to, fuck on, on the pool and you see a lovely and you think you know I need a little pro strat get yourself a bit of lint <laughs> yeah. or fluff or feather apparently um, and just walk past a woman at the bar yeah, yeah like may, maybe do this like come up from under the bar and then you, like <laughs> put a little bit of lint in her hair go back down <laughs> In like wait a few moments so it didn't look suspicious. Maybe go for a walk. Maybe, maybe hit on someone else. <laughs> they come back round and reap that harvest <laughs> you have sown <laughs> earlier. Yeah, yeah. Oh hi, uh, darling uh, lady. I have seen your hair, lovely hair. You have a piece of lint in here. Oh, let me get it out for you. Do you come here often? Yes. Do you live around <laughs> here? Oh, good. Yes. That's, uh, that's basically... I like squirrels too. What do you, I'm a bum <laughs> model. Would you like to see my bum? <laughs> <laughs> Pros use a lint cannon. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> so Super bad. Situation. So fucking All right, we got to go. But thank you, <laughs> yeah. Miss Take, for your um, penguin explosion insurance. Um, we'll be back. We'll be back next week. We'll be back um, Oh, in a next week. Time. It might be... Me and someone else. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing with the streams, but uh, I hope you enjoy this stream. Well, you're away. I'm, I'm, a, I'm away for a couple of weeks, yeah. But we'll be back before you I'm, know it. Before you be know here. it. I should be back in two weeks, actually. Yeah. Right. Peace.